Hello everybody, we're back! Uh, sorry for the lengthy break there, we were just uh, taking care of some shenanigans behind the scenes. Um, also, if you guys are interested in checking out another stream, I linked it while we were on our break, but uh, if you guys are so inclined, uh, we have a lovely lady who has been joining us for our, our Aether Chronicle RPs, who is a good friend of Effie's for uh, a while now and has become... Uh, a very solid, uh, uh, well, just all round awesome person that we have uh, become, uh, I suppose, more connected to, as uh, professionals would say, making those connections. So if you would like to follow Hanioni and give her some love for the work she's doing right now, she's actually conceptualizing her own uh, goblin that she'll be guesting with at some point in the future on our broadcast. So look forward to... Going forwards, we will be having some guest goblins showing up for, for periods during these broadcasts, so that's going to be fun. Um, I have plans in the works to bring back a couple of uh, voiced NPC options as well. Uh, when we did uh, Gizwit's uh, random surprise with uh, MWB voicing his character, there will be other opportunities to pursue that as well uh, coming up in the future, depending on where the goblins go and how things are set up for encounters. So... Um, yeah, that's uh, look forward to all that kinds of fun shit. But before we get back into the uh, the adventure, I would highly recommend that you guys give some love to everybody else who is involved in this project too, especially uh, these two wonderful nerds here, the Art of Ash and Jasminian Devils. Uh, Ash is a very awesome, talented artist who has made all of the goblins you see before you, and basically, pretty much everything you see on screen, aside from the foundry role table <laughs> so so yes um she is a very talented artist she does a lot of really awesome work she contributes to a lot of really cool projects and a lot of my own and i would appreciate it if you guys gave her some follow and some love because she is fucking amazing and jasmine is a very wonderful streamer who is always a very active and does many many long streams she is a uh, primarily a hunt streamer but she also plays other games and she is an eldritch horror from below the uh, ocean and a pretty upstanding woman. So uh, I think you guys should definitely give her some love uh, and some follows too. Yes, Desi? Yeah, but she's pretty She's pretty easy to uh, catch in a, in a closed area. She's really susceptible to basements. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I, I almost fell for the trap, okay? I realized uh, what you, you were doing. You did. And then I started laughing. <laughs> I, I, I won. <laughs> I see. But yes, with those reminders there, please, if you could go give some love to the wonderful people who have contributed to our project, we'd really appreciate that because they are all a bunch of hardworking individuals. And uh, I guess if you wanted to, you could like follow my channel or whatever, like whatever. I'm basically Effie's bird at this point. She just keeps me in a little cage uh... and it's just like content bitch. And I'm like, yes, Effie. <laughs> um <laughs> please follow silver he's an amazing person a wonderful friend just an all-around fantastic dm and honestly he deserves basically all the chicken nuggets and bitches that you can afford so um you know uh i hope th this is Gen admiral he's, he's metal amazing. erection bird and we love him so go 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 follow metal erection bird or uh, mm -hmm. silver hummus studio if you haven't yeah, seen the yeah. Hummus clip, look through his clips. You'll find it. Oh, here. Let me do my thing from... Uh, <laughs> give me a moment for my thing. Oh, nice, nice. You see this metal nerd? You know, Silver Kestrel, Silver Kestrel Studios, Homes of Kestrel Quest, a fantastic D&D game that you should totally check out and enjoy. You should totally click that link that Effie just posted. <laughs> uh -huh. also... You also... sure oh, God. Bad we also have someone literally named Goblin in chat. Uh, so <laughs> c congrats on you having that account, first of all. And uh, you play Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning. That's amazing. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> i give you a follow. <laughs> Sorry, I got very curious. But uh, not to derail the endorsement of love and support that I'm receiving from these wonderful people, but I appreciate that a lot. Um, but again, let's not spend all session polishing my silver knob uh, because there is goblin stories to be told. So let's go ahead and uh, goblins. Are you guys ready to get back into the adventure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I just yeah. gotta say one thing real quick. Oh, I didn't God, even know you could yeah. still play Warhammer online. <laughs> and my mind is blown <laughs> right now. I've like played the hell out of that game <laughs> before. 
Oh, yeah, no, there's a fan uh, version yeah. of it that is, like, there's what? shitloads of new content. Yeah, too. I kind of run, run around as a squig herder again. Or as, yeah. Yes. Or as, as, oh, my God. All right, yeah, sorry. I, I, I want to be around the game more. I just, yeah. my mind was blown. <laughs> Dark Elf Sorcerer's PvP, blow myself up to kill the world. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, um... Yeah, Age of Reckoning. Return of Reckoning, that's what it's called. Yes, the Warhammer Online Return of Reckoning. Um, I had a brief stint of playing an all uh, Greenskins group with a, a couple of friends while we were doing a bunch of PvP shenanigans in that game. And uh, Yeah, that's, it's, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. It's, it's, a, it's a good time, and it's free. You got, It's out there and it's free, so if you guys want to play a good Warhammer game that's like a solid vibe, and I mean, it shows its age. I'm not going to tell you it's perfect, what? but the fan no, stuff that but... they've made for content is actually, like, it makes the game way better than it ever was when it was actually a live game. So, big big recommendation to you folks at home who want to play it. Uh, Return of Reckoning is actually really good. I think I even have it still installed on my computer. But, we're getting off I'm track. ready. <laughs> yes, no, 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 it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> I appreciate the excitement. Um, yeah, uh, thanks everybody for being here again. We appreciate you. Let's go ahead and get, no, no worries, Goblin. Let's go ahead and get back into the uh, shenanigans on hand. So we'll yeah, I got a spell I got to use. Yeah, God damn it. All right, so Goblins, when we last left for our break, you had just had a very um, interesting conversation with Wiggums, um, the one who, the chief, the advisor to the chief belly bloat, the leader of the Suckfrog tribe that at least Desi and Snooty, you two have originated from at the start of our campaign here. And, um, essentially the summary of the conversation was you placated his concerns about how your progress has been going in undermining the town, and also basically convinced him that, like, there is a diplomatic option for his goals, which he's still, like, oh, okay, I, I guess... I guess we can make that work, maybe. Um, there did seem to be a bit of discourse on the other end of that conversation, however, um, from another entity that nobody heard the input from, and which he claims to be the chief. Um, and to those, to you, Desi and Snooty, you are aware that the chief, uh, there is essentially a belief amongst the Suckfrog tribes that only Wiggums is the one capable of talking to the chief, because anybody else who talks to the chief would basically die if they did so. Like, if he spoke verbally to any other goblin in the in the uh in the tribe he would more or less create this air of like well nobody knows exactly how and there's lots of rumors from like your eyes will liquidate to like your brians will just fall out of your ears or you know your knees will blow off and you'll become like crippled forever like there's all kinds of rumors about hearing the the voice of the chief but essentially with all that sorted, what has come to pass now is now that you guys have received your money for the goblin slaughter, or goblin ghoul slaughter, and have a ghoul pending becoming a wolf pet thing, uh, I hate that sentence, um, <laughs> you guys are, ooh, I'm your pet ghoul. <laughs> God damn it. Why does my so brain work this can, way? Can all of us get uh, one XP from that? Because that hurt. <laughs> yeah, that, that, listen. Look. Th this is a stick up. I am taking the XP from you because, <laughs> uh, listen, I don't think it is good to behoove you to kink shame the ghoul. Uh, you know, if he yeah. wants to be our, our messy undead puppy. That is his business. <laughs> Why do you have to say this. messy? <laughs> oh, no. It was fine until you added messy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay, yeah. Um. Sure. One XP for all of you for my cursed comment about the pet play implications. But um, now that we've got that summarized... Uh, it's up to you three to decide what you want to do next. The The town is open and there's many directions to go, so talk amongst yourselves and figure out where you guys are going to go next. You know, I think we should go to Dad Shetty. We have the money. Yeah, we go Dad Shetty first, then we uh, go into town and get uh, disguise for a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I have, uh... I have the money. She's gonna hold up this the fucking bulging, like fucking, like it's like it's like if she's holding like a melon. 
like a normal sized melon and she's, you know, just a goblin. She's like, I, yeah, I've got the money. <laughs> I just realized I don't know how to conceptualize like 400 or it's like 600 some odd fucking gold because I don't know how big the coins are. But I imagine they're like the size of the chocolate coins that you can get. And like De De Desi's kind of like, man, I wish there was an establishment that I could put all this money for safekeeping. And not have to carry it around. Here. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, she's she's hefting the bag. She's gonna like shake it so it jingles and just I, be like, I, 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 yeah. what, "Who is this person? And why are we giving him our monies?" Oh, uh, Dachetti is really nice. And he has a really sad story. He's oh, got he's children. So yeah. And they were enslaved. Uh, just thinking about it makes Desi want to cry. Uh, Did he cry too? Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, don't cry. I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's you okay, it's to just apologize really sad. The people who stole it did. His sons should be apologizing. Okay, let's, uh, exactly. Let's, let's, go, let's, go, let's go help him. I want to okay. help him. Uh, Sorry. New, Newt's gonna start crying. Really nice. <laughs> oh no! Newt can't cry now. No, no. If you uh, if you yeah. tell us stop crying, you stop crying. <laughs> no, oh, no, it just makes like, me so cry. cry. Oh, oh, my he's still his son. Squirrel <laughs> pug. Uh, I don't even know how he had multiple sons because it's just the one. But it, he had them and they stole them. <clears throat> Yeah, that's, that's what happened. We're just going to go find. Uh, let's go. Let's go. And he's going to just start running in a random direction, not knowing where this guy is. Not that but, way. Like... Not that way. This way. This way. Yeah, yeah. Not that way. Yeah. No, no, not that way. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to keep running and like going different directions as they crack because she's trying to hurry, but like she's running faster no, no, than no, them no, 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 and doesn't way, know the way. way. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I got idea. I got idea. Goblin group Turn into bugs. Goblin Dog and, and throw Ash on bat and start running. <laughs> ah! Freaks out. What so, should I? What should I? <laughs> well, go on. Give the Goblin Dog instructions. Uh, 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 this way, Desi! Uh, uh, we're going. Let's go. This way. Come, come by. You can make it. Come by. I wanted to say something so cursed. <laughs> well, Effie, is the 2 XP worth your soul? She's having a very major dilemma right now, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry, you probably couldn't hear me just like trying to keep my shit contained because Discord's <laughs> like, oh, what's that? That's a high pitch. That's clearly just for animals. <laughs> and fucking OBS is like, the fuck? Um, <clears throat> Newt. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Abby can get it out. She's... <laughs> are you, uh... Yeah, you're gonna... I'm gonna do it. It's you, fine. You, you it's okay? okay? You got this? Uh, you got this? Yeah, yeah. Nerd, this, this way, uh, you, uh, you know, bring that good blessy over here, you... <laughs> 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 Everybody gets two XP. And my eyebrows are in the wrong place, excuse me, for a second, and got a little high. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, so I assume the general idea is that the three of you are now heading to see Dead Chetty. I have 269 XP. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh -huh. 
Right, so you you decide to go to the garrison to find Vachetti, um, who is basically, um, hmm, hmm, I don't want to, yeah, it's the start of the day, so it's pretty early, so I guess it would probably make sense that he would definitely be there. Um, but, as you enter into the garrison, hmm, actually, you know what, chat? This is one of those situations where I have a 50-50 and I can't really decide on it. So, could somebody in chat give me an exclamation mark D20, all one word, lowercase. And, oh, Krieger, damn, you were right on that. Shit, okay, cool, 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 cool. Alright, so you go to the garrison and as the three of you arrive, well, there is a, uh, a, a guard standing outside and he just kind of regards the three of you and goes, uh, what, uh, what can I do for you three? Oh, sorry, I had, I had to bite back a moment of wanting to be a shit. Okay. Uh, Snooty, Snooty, go ahead. Who's in front of us? I'm so sorry. I was I was laughing. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still laughing. What's, what's happening? I was... Uh, uh, Effie helped me with the, the good blessing. The three of you have... <laughs> the three of you... Yeah. The three of you have arrived at the town garrison, which is where the guard and the militia stay and also the jail is. And you've come to where Vichetti is, uh, who works as the jailer in the jail, and now there is a guard on duty in front of the entry to, to the garrison, and he looks down at you and is basically like, what do you want? Oh, we're here to see the Chetti. We have something for him. The guard looks at you with like a bit of an air of suspicion and says, Do you mean Vachetti, the jailer? Uh-huh. What business do you have with him? We have his money. He looks like surprised for a second and goes, I, his, his money. Yeah, we ordered him yeah, yeah, money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Money, Whoa. money. Why? And now he's like narrowing his eyes, being like, "Why did you owe the jailer money?" Because we needed money. I, I didn't and owe him money. Yeah, she wasn't here. Uh, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. I was hoping I'd get a chance to actually do that one. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she stops and she thinks and she goes, We needed monies and we're paying him back for the kindness. <laughs> now the guard is very suspicious. He didn't lock us up when we were here last time. And yeah. we wanted yeah. to make sure that his kindness was shown. <laughs> I wasn't here, so he did. he wasn't gonna lock me up regardless. But he All seems right. like a nice man. So the guard is gonna like look at you for a minute, and I'm sure your genuine statements are are very much so. What you experience mm -hmm. contextually makes a lot of sense. What he heard sounds a lot like bribery. I'm gonna float over to him. He's gonna take Wait, note how of the tall fact is he? This guy's like about six feet tall, uh, standard kind of okay. town guard, and he looks as he notices finally that you're like floating a foot off the ground and like reels back a little bit, like ah. Yeah, uh, my friends give back kindness. What? What do you mean? You not have you not heard? You not know what kindness is? She doesn't look like incredibly sad. At the thought that he doesn't understand kindness and be like, well, can I help you? Do you need kindness shed to you? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> can I get a can I get a mis misinterpretation roll here from chat, please? Uh, and an exclamation mark D20, if you don't mind. So just somebody in chat, exclamation mark D20. I need another 50-50 of his interpretation. Perfect. Excellent. I love it. He looks at you for a minute and is like, I'm not, I, I'm not really into 
goblins. Uh, you, you, you should probably go talk to the, the. Oh. No, not my hold goblins. On. Hold on, the internet briefly it. shit itself. Uh, sorry, what was that? You cut back in as my internet came back. I, I couldn't say it without laughing, but. It... <laughs> uh, no, 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 my goblins. See, no, 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 clean. <laughs> <laughs> I had to find Can I add two XP to my sheet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you give them another two for almost killing me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, we'll just leave these on Come here. Come to the goblins where the goblissi is made up, but the benefits for making silver suffer aren't. <laughs> uh, the guard just like is like you you don't, you don't want to, it, it's it's it, it, uh, he's like a little flustered and panic now and he's just like i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna talk to the, the sheriff and, and if sheriff baylor says that, that everything's all good, aligned then i'll let you into the jail just give, give, give me a moment okay. and he 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 opens the door and, and heads right into the garrison at mock speed, like turning the corner. Uh, she'll sit down and wait as he's right. like says, "Hold on." All right, which is like uh, equivalent of you sitting down a foot above the ground. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you sit hover uh, in the air, and as the three of you are standing out here, do you want to do anything as you're waiting, or do you guys just want to wait for the guard to come back? I'm having a seizing fit. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah, it is okay. Maybe you are allergic to that. Good, good pussy. Don't worry about that. We're going to uh, proceed. You take all the time you need. Uh, I will wait for the, the guard to come back. Yeah. 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 That must be... That must be why she's married. gonna marry Chief. Because she's a... <laughs> 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 She's allergic to capacity. <laughs> done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. These like are just this? staying on. I'm just putting these on. Everybody, you can have 10 XP. <laughs> I'm going to go stand in the corner for a minute and think about my life choices. Okay. <laughs> Um, Hello, people at home. We're professionals. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate your support. And you know what? Listen, we love you. I'm going to give back the reins to Silver now. <laughs> he had to leave life for a little bit. Turns out some of the things we say make him wonder if it's all worth it. Anyway, back to you, Silver. Thanks, Seppi. All right, the guard returns, and he opens the door, and he says... So, apparently, you're permitted to interact with uh, the jailer, the sheriff clarified things for me, so he just kind of steps aside and says, I'm sure you're familiar with the way, uh, please try not to cause any problems and uh, make it a brief visit. Yeah, yeah, uh, thank you uh, very much, sir. You have yourself a good day. <clears throat> um yes so, so you enter the jail and you go downstairs into the jail and as you reach this part of the jail where you would be going into the jail you come across dead Shetty and uh he <laughs> um Vichetti is like he's he's leaning on his desk and his like head's in his hands and he looks like he's um like, looking at a paper or something on his desk, like, very intently, but as you come down the stairs, you can hear just, like, a... <laughs> coming from him. Uh, a what? A what? It was very muffled. <laughs> oh. Yeah. A muffled noise. It snores. I think it's it snoring. snoring. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. Oh. I couldn't tell. I'm gonna scream really loud. My Chevy! 
I'm actively wave at him. <laughs> oh, hold on, I need water. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, oh, okay, hydration, good. So Machete leaning against the desk, he just kind of like shoots upright, like, oh, What? 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 Uh, oh. <clears throat> oh. Uh. Hello, uh. And he looks and sees Desi and Snooty, but doesn't recognize Newt. He's like, He wasn't uh -oh. here. Oh, oh. He looks briefly over at you guys and says, Oh, this, uh. Uh, 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 did you, uh, did you, <laughs> did you uh, break the law again, hmm? Uh, no, no, no. Mm, no. We have uh, something for you. Also, this is Newt and Newtie. Oh, I'll oh. hold up Newtie and, like, up of Newtie during the introduction. <laughs> so he takes a look at you and looks at your, uh, your Newt and just... Dire Newt, thank you. Yes, his, your dire Newt. And takes a, a moment to process that, and he goes, uh, well, well, welcome, um, Newt, uh, pleasure to meet you, uh, sorry, are you floating? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, she does that. It's true, I do do that. Um. It's just, it's just the way it always has been. Well, not always, but it, that's a whole nother story. Interesting. You uh, points to you, Desney and Snooty. You two keep making interesting friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah. it is. It's hard when, you know, the town is full of many interesting things. Also, do you know what the most interesting thing is? What would that be, Desi? Desi's gonna walk over and she's gonna have to the bag of gold onto the desk for uh, Dad Shetty. And she's gonna go, uh, we got a job. I, uh, ended up breaking the mythical Geneva Convention and, uh, <laughs> got paid lots of money. So, we're going to give you money so you can get your children back. Vichetti stops. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. tell that he, like, as you get closer, his breath smells pretty heavily of alcohol. Um, and leaning over the desk, he, he, his eyes are very strained. He looks like he's been sleeping off a hangover here, uh, at the desk. And he stops for a minute, and he's, like, he's about to say, like, you know, like, oh, congratulations on, like, getting all your money, like, you've been doing a good job, maybe you want to go see a bank about that, blah, blah, blah. And then you cut in with telling him, like, we brought money for you, and he, he goes, uh, um, sorry, uh, what, what, what was that? Uh, Snitty, did I say that wrong? No, he he is. She she looks at him and like strokes a little bit at the bottom of her chin. And she goes, "I think he is in distress." Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello. I you listen. I I love your dress. It's okay. You do not have to be worried uh, about it. I think you pull it off very well. Um, also, I said that this money is for you to get your children back. So, you can't tell how much you need, and then we need to take rest and get disguise. He, he takes a moment to process what you're saying. And Vichetti kind of, like, leans a little bit against his desk. And you can tell that he's just, like, rubbing his face, like... I'm come here for a moment, please. Like gesturing to you, Desi. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. What, 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 what do you need? He reaches out and pinches your cheek just very gently. You yeah, okay? Uh, ow! What, what, what are you doing? I needed to make sure I was not still drunk. Uh, no, you're pretty, yeah, you know, no, you're probably junk, uh, but, you know, uh, that's okay. Uh, you're awake right now. Um, he leans forward and he, he looks at the big bag of gold and he says, how much is in here? 
Ah, uh, that is a good question. Uh, let me check my notes. She's going to pull out her little notepad and, and she's going to rummage around. Uh, that is 653 gold, two silver, uh, eight copper, one dead uh, worm, and one pretty rock. Do you guys remember how much you had given him already? Nine? It was mm. nine, right? Yeah, something like that, yeah. And he yeah, needed, he, he needed four hundred. He wouldn't take her entire uh -huh. bag he wouldn't take uh the entire bag from Snooty, which was almost like two hundred around that time. He takes a moment to pause and looks at the bag and then he looks at you. And he just kind of blurrily shakes his head and he goes, No. No, no, I can't take this. I can't take but, this. This is important for you. No, no, this, no, 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 listen. You didn't understand what I said. It is for you. We made the money for you. And then the rest of the money is for us. So you take what you need and get family back. And then we're going to go take the rest. See? He leans in. In, into your face, Desi, and his face is like a mix of uh, it, it's it's a mix of, of, of like emotional kind of tearing in his eyes and also rage and he leans in towards you and he goes I I am not worthy of this generosity what? No, that that is silly you are definitely worth generosity you you were very kind and I you know I want you to be happy. See? Even as Snooty. Snooty. Yeah. Do you want Dad Shetty to be happy? Uh-huh. 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 And Newt, she wasn't there, but we have told her. Yeah. She's I, I, she, I, she I, I, the crying. I was circle. there. I was there in 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 or in the uh, in, uh, story oral tradition kind of way and and i think you need money to help say help, help, help say family he just kind of sits up out of his chair like very rapidly uh, getting to and this man is this man is like closing in on like six foot eight like roughly he is a, a brick shit house of a human being and he does not look like he knows how to handle this at the moment. He's just kind of leaning against his desk, looking a little bit like like maybe he needs some water or something. And now there are tears streaming down the front of his face. And he looks over in your direction and says, You, you wish to help me recover my sons. You, this money yeah. is for yeah, yeah. that purpose. Uh -huh. Yeah, most of it. Some of it is for us, but, you know, most of it is yours. Yeah. Why? Why do you do what? this? Because uh, you were nice to us. Yeah, because you were nice to us. You were to nice us. to my friends. Like, these uh -huh. two are my friends, just to clarify. Yeah, yeah, we're friends. You were nice to them. So I should, uh -huh. so, so I should be nice back to you? He he, he, he he kind of braces himself against his desk more and he says, I have done things in my life. I have, I have many things that I am not proud of. There are, every night I am not expected to watch over this place. I drown myself in hoping to forget the memories of those that I have wronged, for the choices that I have made, for the loss of my wife. I, and he just kind of leans a little bit and he just, he can't stop himself from crying. And he looks that, down at that, all, all three No of cry. You. Sorry, no, not no allowed. Crying. We already cried. Yeah, no, no crying. Yeah, we cried for you. If you no start crying, cry, I would just start <laughs> crying. <laughs> and and I start crying. <laughs> and he gets down on his knees, like right in front of you, Desi, and grabs your hand and like looking at all three of you. Uh, the tears are just streaming down his face and he says, I can't, I cannot thank you enough. I, 
I, I never thought the, the, the far cry notion of seeing my sons again would go past what it would cost me in gold would be impossible for me to earn. It, it was always something that I had hoped. I had only ever saved a hundred gold, well, a hundred and nine, thanks to your earlier contributions. Um, and he just, like, he grabs all three of you, like, in, uh, like, pulling you close with his massive arms and just like, crushes you against him. <laughs> And the tears are, like, streaming down his face, and he's like, If you need anything, I am will do anything. I am eternally grateful for your contribution, and my sons will know of your names. I will ensure that they know who you are, and when they are returned to me, we will do everything in our power to make sure that whatever it is you try to accomplish in this life is something that you are capable of doing. Maybe he's just gonna start, like bawling her eyes. And Vichetti just kind of... He, he sniffles and, and rubs his eyes and lets you all go, and he slams his uh, fist on his desk, and he goes, But that... That is enough. I am... Too, too much has already left my body this morning that you did not see. I am very low on liquids. And he just kind of freaks up off of his knees and stands up and he says tell you what the old fuck in there gesturing to like the uh the jail cell titus is the only one still keeping occupancy in there and <clears throat> i think that it's probably safe to say that uh maybe we could celebrate huh i'm sure nobody will miss me for an hour or two huh uh yeah celebrate sounds good um but uh can i do can i do a Mm hmm What kind of role do you want to make? I wanted. Hmm. Hmm. I want to make. I want to make a society role, or an intelligence role. I'm not sure which, but I want to basically sit here and go, "Well, wait a minute. If the jail cell's gone and Titus is a liar." Like, who do we get to sit here just in case kind of thing? Because I think Desi understands what a jail is. Mm -hmm. So she could conceptualize that thing and be like, hey, wait a minute. I think that wouldn't need a society role. I think it would just be like, <clears throat> if that comes to mind, it would make sense. Because, like, if he stops watching the jail and gives an opportunity for somebody to not be watching that, mo that door, uh... then, you know it's something that you probably raise without needing to roll for it. So if you want, you can bring okay, it up. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Dad Shetty, uh, you know, that man over there is very tricky. And, uh, you know, I don't think we leave him alone. Why don't you ask the guard upstairs and tell him we bring him back, Stu? If um. he watches, uh, you know, jail. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so Vachetti just kind of, like, nods for a minute and says, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll ask one of the other guards. I'll give him, like, a, an hour. Maybe I'll slip him a gold or two. Uh, make sure that they keep an eye on things. We, and then we'll go celebrate. I'll take you to my favorite place to drink in town. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 We just keep everything safe here so you don't get in trouble. Um, and then, you know, we go party. Yeah. Mm, mm, yes. Yes, yes. This is good. Okay. The Chetty oh. is grateful to you, little green ones. This is the best oh. day I have seen since, well, getting to throw one of you at Titus. Where are you going that to put fun. money so it's safe? Oh, yeah, that was fun. Your money? Put where you can put your money to be safe, huh? Ah, well, no, I meant your money, because... That is a lot of money to carry. Mm, mm, yes, 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 you are right, you are right. Um, I will uh, tell you what, you get, I will t count out what I need remaining here. And he starts, like, taking the money out of your bag. And uh, he has uh -huh. the moment, and he just... Are you sure? Are you entirely sure I should be taking this? This was hard-earned for you. Uh, I mean, it wasn't that hard. All I did was I dropped a bomb down the hole that was in Daddy Assblaster's backyard. And I 
basically uh, melted a bunch of ghouls. Um, but uh, listen, Dan Shetty, I'm going to give you the gobble words of wisdom, okay? Lots of people make lots of mistakes in life, but very few people allow the mistakes to be corrected and to move on. So you take your kids and you have good life. And that is all I ask. He looks like he's trying to like hold back tears again and he goes, mm. Yes, Lucetti will do this for you. I will do this. <laughs> Uh, as best yeah, I am. Anyway. And he just takes a little bit of a... <clears throat> Anyways, I will go find somebody to take the watch. And uh, when I have that sorted, please await me outside of the garrison. Then we will travel together to my favorite place to drink. Huh? Uh, yeah, 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 this yeah. sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And as Vichetti takes care of that and the three of you await him outside, uh, you are now the proud owners of, I'm going to go ahead and say 200 XP worth of progression. Pass successfully completed. We did it. We got one goal done. Yay. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying. Wait, why are you crying? We did a thing, and he's such a good boy, and I, I like know. me. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make me start crying again. Oh, it's so adorable. All right. So, does anyone else want to do anything around the garrison or the area before Bachetti comes out and takes you out for a, a drink, essentially? Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good, Dan. We should tell Valor that we did one of our tasks. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is a good point. Yeah, we just checked in here. right before. Yeah. Snooty, you're so smart. Back, back. All right. Uh, so, uh, for a reminder, for those of you who don't know what he looks like, I'll put him up on screen. But uh, as you go into the sheriff's office... Um, also, for those of you who are curious, this is what the most important goblin badge looks like. So, if anyone's like, what, is, what does that actually look like from earlier? This is an example of what the most important goblin badge looks like on screen. So, that is uh, that is what they were given. A very important badge of office to goblins, but to most people, it'd be like, is that welded to rather engraved trash? So, <laughs> let me just go ahead and get our good old sheriff back on the phone here uh so that you guys are aware of what he looks like so waiting for vachetti to track down one of the guards in the garrison or somebody to just keep an eye on his station while he goes out for a drink sheriff baylor is tending to a couple of things at his desk and is making preparations for something you're not entirely sure and as you come in he looks up from his desk and has a mixed reaction of like oh god what next and who the fuck is that? As Newt floats in with the rest of you. And he just leans forward with his, his fingers steepled and goes, oh, It's you again. What can I do for you? No, no, this is my first time here. I'm Newt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that is Newt. Hi, we found uh, Newt. But that's not why we're here. We are here to tell you that we did one of our tasks, and we wanted you to be proud of us. <laughs> yeah, that yeah that checks out. I we have taken care of the ghoul problems. You won't have any more problems with that. The sheriff Des leans gonna, in. Oh, go ahead. This is gonna t. This is gonna t pose, waiting to be showered in 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 in, in adoration. And pride. The sheriff is going to, like, raise an eyebrow and lean forward and go, <clears throat> Please, I'm ever so curious to hear. What is it that you accomplished exactly? Oh, uh, well, I made the alchemical bomb based off of the theory of vaporization of liquids and used holy water that was also... Uh, <clears throat> You know, uh, being boi flash-boiled by 
uh, you know, Alchemist Fire. It was a gravity drop system uh, where the two basically chemicals were being... You know what? It doesn't matter. I dropped a really big bomb into a hole and then uh, made holy gas that destroyed the ghouls. So they are dead. So you're welcome. And the, the, the sheriff kind of nods a little bit. A little, like, like a hint of impressiveness in his gait before he also realizes that you're capable of building explosives that can create such an effect. So his brain also makes note of that. And he leans forward a bit and, like, with his fingers up to his nose, he just kind of goes, And your new friend here? N Newt, was it? Yeah, I'm Newt. And this is Newtie. Hold up, Dyer. Newt. <laughs> he just kind of takes a breath and goes, And how did you come across this one, exactly? Not this one, new. <laughs> this one's my my sibling's name that survived Goblin Pit Swamp. Oh my fucking god. D -d -d All right, everybody gets two XP. Anyways, Snooty, Desley, do you want to relay any information on how you came to meet Newt? Uh, Newt was at the the big church place. And we found yeah. them. Yep. Uh, they were there with the, the ghost and, uh, you know, the your, your daddy guy. Uh, and uh, doesn't matter. Um, basically, uh, we found her and now she's friend. Um, she was not here before, but now she is here now. So, hi. Wave, wave, wave to Baylor. Newt, do you wave to Baylor? We'll look, well, Newt will look at Desi and then realize that Desi's like telling Newt to wave, and then Newt will excitedly wave and be like, I'm Newt! <laughs> Fuck sakes. <laughs> also, I find it funny that we essentially just walked into the police station and told the cops that we know how to make a bomb. <laughs> yeah, no. He, he noted that. He sure did. Um, but he, he leans forward and and kind of puts his hands on his forehead for a minute and goes, I see. So there are more goblins with your little group here now, and you killed a bunch of ghouls in the service of Father Absalom. Managed to secure yourself some funding for that. As far as I'm aware, that sounds like you... Completing the tasks you were provided as well hired adventurers. Y yes. Ah. Uh, well, yeah. Then, as far as my authority provides me as the sheriff of the town of Sandpoint, thank you for your assistance. We appreciate it. I look forward to seeing what else you're able to accomplish. Is there anything else worth noting to me that you would like to relay? Uh, oh, new oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Continue. Continue. De Desi, Desi, Desi. Remember, remember yeah. the shady guys from yesterday oh, night. Yeah, 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 that is true. Hey, um, so before I went in, uh, you know, I took care of the ghouls for you. Uh, there was a lady outside of the, the, the church, and there was a lot of shady people uh, sort of harassing her. And, uh, you know, I took care of it, so it's fine. But, um, you know, they might come back. I threatened to blow them up, but they also seem like they are familiar with each other. So, you know, you might want to check that out. He raises an eyebrow and says, and how many individuals were there? Uh, like five. I see. All I five don't know of them are harassing many. this woman? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it sort of seemed one, like one they of, had business. Oh, sorry. Yeah, one Snippy of them was both. making uh, dirty jokes, and another one was, like, saying stuff. <laughs> 
I didn't see any of this because I was in the church. <laughs> that is true. Sheriff sure, Baylor looks a little incredulous and he says, so you're asking me to keep an eye out for five individuals that you have yet to identify who were harassing a woman with dirty jokes. It was, no, 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 no. They were implying that they were going to do things to her. But she was uncomfortable. He leans for it. Snooty. What? Are you aware of the job that I hold here? You are supposed to make everyone feel safe, and she didn't feel safe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I would bring it to your attention. <laughs> you know, I'm going to roll society for Snooty. <laughs> Snooty knows this because she shared my Brian temporarily. She has gained forbidden knowledges. Hold on. Um, before you cover that, I, I like where she's going with that. Uh, don't worry. Um, what I want you to do... I mm -hmm. guess it's a diplomacy. I want you to roll, roll me a diplomacy to see how much of an impact it has on him, that statement. Well, that's pretty good. I'm, go I'm not going to lie. That's, that's pretty... Uh, I assume you're not going to call Goblin bullshit. Mm-mm. All right. Because right. if I do that, it's going to be 10. Most likely, yes. I'm going to give a will save for him. <laughs> this whole session has just been you making people feel fail will save Snooty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guilt tripping. Snooty's new superpower. <laughs> he, he takes what you're saying and goes, You're right. You are right on that front. My job is to ensure the safety and comfort of all citizens of Sandpoint. I won't argue uh -huh. that point with you, Snooty. Are you aware how many people live in this town? I don't think they live here. They wouldn't do that to somebody unless... Mm. Regardless of the people you're talking about living here or not, are you aware of how many people live here? No, because I can't count past one. I see. As the last census that was taken for our residency, it was somewhere around the realm of 1,233 residences. How how big of a number is that? It's a lot. No, it's but like, people. can you can you can you do the thing with your hands so I know how many? He grabs a piece of paper and a uh, piece of parchment and a pen, and just kind of scrolls out the full number and turns it around and holds it. Up I can't here. read. <laughs> God. It's true. She doesn't. <laughs> it looks like scribbles. If, if you're done scribbling on paper, I also have something I want to report from that night. Uh, yes, Newt. There was a strange guy named Stu wandering around the graveyard <laughs> at night, <laughs> and and. The man seemed lost, and he said he would give us stew, but he never brought stew, so I would like to report, report a theft of stew. Yeah, and mm. he was kind of beefy. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, um, the sheriff... Just kind of leans forward again and says, Ah. All right, well, that issue sounds like a... What... Newt, was any currency exchanged for said stew? Uh, no, because he didn't have the stew, and he said he was going to go get it, and then he never came back. Actually, he could, he could be in danger. What if he fell in a hole or, or got mugged for his stew? then that would be problematic. And if Do you I know knew, Stu? I... <laughs> He's like... This is obviously to him now, like, trying to deal with dumb fuck children who are just like, <laughs> just keep testing his patience. 
And he redoubles back and he goes, all right, one thing at a time that I'm able to solve. I am a busy man and I have a lot of things to worry about. There are bandits that have been building up on the outskirts of town that I have been having no end of trouble dealing with. So, so I can get back to planning my choices in that matter. Wait, do you think the bandits took Stu? Possibly. We need to save Stu, we're bandits. That's the problem. I don't know. They don't stay in any one place for too long, and there's a fair number of them. What do you know? Well, what I do know is that people have been getting robbed on the roads and murdered and kidnapped. So perhaps your stew that you're looking for could have been kidnapped by these bandits. I'm not sure. I don't know the man personally. What I do know is that you have told me that someone who... I assume resides at the cathedral, was being harassed by a group of individuals, yes? Uh, yeah. yeah, it was the lady. Okay. Uh -huh. And was this lady one of the acolytes at the cathedral? Yeah. Very well. She that... might know them, so it might be easy for you. I see. So, in that case... We've narrowed it down to who has been accosted. As I am aware, I, I believe I am aware that there is only a select number of... Uh, God damn it, I really need to find this note. Uh, but no, but seriously though, how, how, how much is that? Like, can you like still like hold out your arms? Just, just, just so I know how, how much, because this... This is how I think two is, and she puts it, like, really close. Like, her hands almost ready to clap them, and then she opens them out again, and she goes, like, is it, is it this many, this many? And then she, like, tries to reach her arms all the way behind her, but she can't. She goes, this many! You know how you've been going through the town and you see all the buildings around you, yes? Uh-huh. And you know how probably people live in those buildings, yes? Uh-huh. Remember how many buildings you saw in the town? I don't know how to count. Show me with your arms. <laughs> he just. I, uh, uh, wait, wait! I got this! I got this! I got this! Newt's gonna step in between the two and then turn towards Snooty and go. It's you know you know when you're trying to count and you get to the you get to like three and then you you're like I don't know what comes after three, and then I can't count to two. Oh wow! Wow! It's like a few. It's on the a lot side of the spectrum. Nudie is just like doing the huh face. Like she's not understanding any of this. <laughs> it's like it's like a, it's like it's like swamp water after the the frogs just had all their cat hole babies. What what? But I don't There's know how lot. many babies. I know it's a lot, but, you, but I want to know how much can, is a lot. You, you get a visual representation that you cannot count. As this conversation's going on, he turns to Desi and goes, Was it Walda or Yama who was the one accosted? There are two women who live at the cathedral as acolytes, Walda Ambrush and Yana Arlave. Now, was it Walda or Yama? Desi? Uh, uh, Any Asbuster would know. Yeah, he he would. Uh, Do you remember what she looks like? That's a good question. <laughs> um, the the as you're having this like delayed response, the the sheriff just kind of like shudders a little bit and goes, "Look." Now I know who it narrows it down to to inquire with. I will send a guard over there for an interview to get more information on who was harassed and what problems there are. Was there anything else related to that encounter that you can think to tell me that would be relevant to my job? Uh. Uh. No, that should be it. Uh, you have a great day. We're going to uh, go celebrate. Bye. Celebrate, celebrate your 
Um, with the ghouls? A job, job well job, done. Job. Don't forget yeah. about Stu, job well done. Any information on Stu could help save his life. I will. We gave as much information on Stu. He won't give me. I'm not giving no more information till he shows me him arms to do anything. So for now, we are done. <laughs> the sheriff sighs and just waves his hand towards the door and says, "You, thank you for your time. May you enjoy the rest of your day. Congratulations on dealing with that ghoul den." Um. Okay, well, we should look into this stew thing on our own, because I don't think this guy knows a lot about what's going on in town. <laughs> I say as I walk out of town, out of the office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. He, he doesn't even know how many people are in houses. I don't even know how many people live in a house. I, I, no, I know, I understand, not, I know It's not your job, though. It's not your job, though. It's yeah, his job. I know how. Don't know how count. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know, though, Newt? Newt just gonna stare off like, like she just got asked the most bewildering question, <laughs> and then just stare, do like a thousand yard stare. <laughs> So she takes a moment, or sorry, uh, as you, you guys take a moment to, like, process all this, Vachetti comes back up to you and goes, uh, it uh, looks like you had a little talk with the, uh, the sheriff. You weren't telling him anything about me, uh, quizzing or anything, huh? No, did you want no. us to? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, uh, I, I, I wanted I, I, to invite him as well but he was being penis head so he no get invited <laughs> yeah yeah it is okay you see he does this thing which then he squints and it sort of looks like the face of the man with the tiny shrimp uh it is the you know i i guess it is when you are a penis head and upset but it looks like this and uh that's he's gonna like make like a motion like there's there's the hat there and then she's just gonna scowl just be like oh, I am, I'm a sheriff and I am grumpy he doesn't even know where Stu is <laughs> yeah he doesn't even know where Stu is so we need to find beefy Stu <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Vachetti just kind of looks at you for a minute and goes, <clears throat> Okay, uh, that sounds like a lot. Um, I'm with not my speciality, and also in terms of the... God damn it, internet. Okay, sorry, internet did a poopy, real briefly. <clears throat> uh, that is not really my expertise, um, and I will help you in every way that I can once I am able to secure a messenger to act as my um, representative uh, for the slavers who are currently the ones in charge of my my son's uh, whereabouts and uh, find out uh, hopefully more information about where they are currently employed. Uh, and uh, it, yes, it's, it's all a bunch of bu busy work, but uh, Vecchetti does not wish to busy you with that. No, what, what Vecchetti wishes to do is bring you over to Cracktooth's. Uh, Cracktooth's Tavern is, uh, is a very enjoyable uh, location. I think uh, his his wines might be favorable. So uh, please, shall we head that way? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we go that way. Mm. I follow you. Uh -huh. Good, 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 good. Uh, in that case, what we're going to do is uh, we'll put you guys over on the sandpoint scene so that it is more easily able to determine where you guys are currently at, which I believe Cracktooth's is behind the tavern. Yes, it is. Or the theater, sorry. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Uh, wait, th th we don't want <laughs> Oleg, we want Machete. <laughs> Oleg is not a relevant part here. There we go. So, uh, as you follow him through the streets of Sandpoint, eventually he takes you to a 
Uh, I mean, the best way to describe it is it's not exactly run down, but it's not the tip top. It's not, it doesn't hold the same impressive element as the Rusty Dragon. And, uh, it definitely doesn't kind of carry itself with any kind of, uh, like the Pixies, uh, uh, Pixies Kitten kind of gives a little bit better of a feel. And honestly, there's, there's a couple of other drinking establishments in town, but this one isn't, isn't terrible. It's got like a... Well, the best way to describe it is it has kind of like a little bit of a performative vibe to it, considering its proximity to the, the theater uh, in town. And as Vachetti is, is escorting you through towards this location, he basically is like, uh, I have um, <clears throat> I have experienced some interesting encounters at other drinking establishments around town, and I am no longer allowed um, <clears throat> in any of them but Cracktooth, but uh, trust me. I think that you'll like Jesk. He has uh, he has a lot of interesting things to provide, and uh, there is a, a rumor that uh, some of his uh, drinks uh, provide uh, magical benefits to those who are able to afford them. And he like subtly taps the side uh, of his eyes. Understandable. That is good to know. Tap side of nose. <laughs> Do you have any input on that, Snooty? Uh, no. No, I do not. I'm sorry. I am in excruciating agony at the moment, but I no. am listening. I cannot get uh, brain function. I apologize. That is okay. It's I okay. understand the situation, and I, I wish um, you a, 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 some alleviation of that. I'm gonna pour Thank one you. out for my Womi. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you for that, Welcome. Effie. It's very, very kind of you. Um, all right, let me go ahead and change the ambience a bit here. And uh, all right, that works, that works. So let's go ahead and uh, switch over to the Imagination Goes Here screen because I do not unfortunately have an interior for this place at the moment. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hide Sandpoint and bring that up. So as you find yourselves uh, making your way into the uh, what essentially has been dubbed the Cracktooth's Tavern, uh, there is an interesting air of it's earlier in the day. Like this is this is very much so like a day drinking experience right now, and Cracktooth has only just opened, so it's probably getting close to noon uh, at this point, and you guys haven't really slept yet since the evening's events, but you did sleep pretty late uh, the previous day, so you're not really facing any concern of exhaustion quite yet. Um, oh, but at... I am not even tired. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you are, you, you, uh, you I am received... wide awake. Yes, you don't need to sleep as far as I'm aware until you get knocked unconscious was the one that you rolled. Uh -huh. Uh, so yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you feel no need to sleep, but in Cracktooth's Tavern, there's kind of like a a nice warm vibe in the place. It has like a, a the air of like a of a, an open mic coffee house because as you enter into the space, um, there is a stage that looks like it is uh is centered into the common room of the tavern, uh, <clears throat> and looks like it to, it would potentially facilitate um, performances like public performances in the space and is built around focusing on that kind of central performance space. And as you all walk in with Vachetti, Vachetti raises his hand to the kind of uh, hairy man behind the bar. He's very much so got like a big, full kind of beard and looks like a little bit more of a... Um, uh, I don't know if you know who Jonathan Frakes is. He played the, you know, mm. uh, Commander Riker in Star Trek. He has kind of a vibe like that, uh. except a little... A little less handsome and a little furrier. And as he sees you all come in, he raises an eyebrow and then smiles. And you can see that he's missing one tooth at the front of his face. Like, it is very prominently missing from his face. And uh, as Vichetti walks in, he says, eh, <laughs> Crack tooth, it's good to see you. I have brought my friends here. We are here to celebrate. And the man behind the counter, as he's cleaning his bar glasses, just kind of looks, well, wine glasses, uh, he looks a little quizzically at you all and says, Okay. Well, it's a pleasure to see you all here in my establishment. My name is Jesk Bereni. I'll keep this tavern in working order. 
And I'm a big fan of anyone who comes in here who has a song to sing or a tale to tell. So, saying you're celebrating something makes me think that there might be something worth celebrating to tell me. And he looks down at the three of you and goes, Tell you what, Pichetti, if these three are involved, and uh, it's correct me if I'm wrong, but they look like goblins. Yes, you are very astute. Right. So, tell you what, I'm going to lean over this counter and it's been really boring and I've only just opened up the day today. So, uh, pointing to each and every one of you turn by turn, he goes, I'm going to point at each and every one of you little goblins. You tell me what you're celebrating tonight, and whoever tells me the best story about what you're celebrating tonight, well, maybe I'll give you a free drink, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's a good game. Yeah. So he runs his fingers left to right and he goes, You're floating. Pointing to Newt. I am. What's that about? Um, I float. Perfect. Tell me your story. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Newt, and this is Newty. Holds up Newty. Yep. Um, uh, I, I'm from, um, um, the swamp, and, 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 uh, um, the, the, the village elders who were also witch doctors, uh, um, they didn't seem to like that I was good witch doctor, and, 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 we whenever we go out hunting and stuff, they kept getting lost and away from me, and then I would try to find my way back, or 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 I would be going and fall into a pit, and they would leave. Um, and I think it's just because they couldn't find me. And then one day we went out, and I turned around, and they were gone. And I can't, I don't know where they went. Uh, interesting. And then I wandered here, and met best friends. I. See. I see. They well, don't. That's... They don't drop. They don't drop me in pits, or 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 accidentally stab me with spears, or 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 leave me. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> he just kind of looks you over, Newt, and goes, "Well, you know, I'm being entirely honest. I was looking for a little more um, information about your um, what you did." Today to be worth celebrating, but you know that is quite a story, and I'm sorry that you uh, have gone through that. Uh, my sincerest apologies. It happens. And he nods his head and says, "Well, your life story was a good one, Newt. Um, it was concise." Oh, that wasn't a whole life. That was just recent. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Well, you know, life stories are good, but they are long. And I've just started the day, so tell you what, why don't you go ahead and give me your best quick summary of the reason why this man here, who has definitely caused a few problems in my establishment, but I love him dearly still, is celebrating today. Hmm? Oh, you mean why the celebration? Yes. Oh, because cause Desi points over at Desi. She's she the smartest goblin I've ever met. Way smarter than anyone in my village. Probably smarter than all of my village. Um, um, she came up with this clever way to kill to kill the ghouls. So there are no more ghouls here. Well, there there is the ah, shh, and there's the no, no, no. there's no more ghouls here. There are no ghouls in Boston <laughs> say. Yes. Um. So so since ghouls gone, we got paid, and then we. We use money to help friend Pat's uh, um, Chevy on the shoulder and be like, and so now we celebrate. He just kind of looks at you a little quizzically and goes, well, your narrative is a little hard to follow and uh, might use with some uh, <clears throat> revisions, but uh, I think that it's a solid projection. And uh, you know what? You, you spoke from the heart, so... Well acted. What, Thank you. What is revision and projective? Uh, don't worry about it, darling. Um, and he looks over to Snooty and he goes, <laughs> Now it's your turn. What about you? Why don't you give me your best summary of why this big man here is celebrating with you? So. She looks up at uh, the Shetty and just goes, 
Can, does he know what happened? Uh, Vichetti goes, With you? Uh, in terms of what, exactly? Like, like the, um, no, the, 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 there's two, there's two, and she hold she holds up her finger, she's like, I learned this number today. Two <laughs> reason to celebrate. Mm -hmm. The bartender One... is just, oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, he's Let just, he's looking at you with a, like an air of like, patiently awaiting what you're going to say next with like rapt attention on his face. <laughs> so she, I'm sorry, I'm so sniffly. I sneezed really hard before you called on me and like, yeah, it's okay. Um, <laughs> she, she goes, two reasons. And she <clears throat> holds out her hands. She goes, we went on a magnificent quest. Us goblins. First, we saved Adambazol in distress. And she dramatically puts her hand on her forehead and one of them out to the side, eyes closed. Then she goes, then we get a task from the, 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 the dad man of the church. And then our task was simple. Get rid of the ghouls. And she does that little spooky woo fingers. <laughs> so we That's had... Oh, yeah. Go ahead, sorry. I was no, going to go say, ahead. did you struggle? Did you almost say the D word? <laughs> and then, like... I did. <laughs> sorry. Continue, because it continue. hurts. Uh, anyways, so she goes, then we had our mastermind... B -b our mastermind Makan... I don't know what they're called. Uh, the big Brian Goblin and Pat's Desi create a kaboom ball full of holy water. And we devised a plan. Ooh. We found a hole. We threw the bomb in the hole and it Yep. Mist everywhere. Ghouls screaming. We killed so many ghouls. The cemetery. Bodies layered on top and buried below. We finished it, our task and our heroes of the church. And she does a little pose of like a heroic pose. And then she turns and she goes, then... This man, Dadshetty, we help him on his life quest, and that is why we are celebrating. And then she does a little bow. <laughs> you will start clapping. <laughs> you know, I was it's there. literally so what she's made for. Better. And so will Nuti. Nuti will also start clapping. <laughs> um. The, the bartender leans back a little bit, like looking at Vachetti with like a like a like an impressed look, and he says, "Well, you know that's um, that's actually really impressive. If I'm being entirely honest here, uh, I didn't expect to hear a story like that come from a goblin today. But uh, your people, I'm aware, are very much so storytellers uh, as far as your history. So I was expecting something interesting, and uh, you put it in front of me. So well done, little one." Uh, I was wrapped. It was very. Uh, it held my attention. I was, I was uh, impressed. She she does like a little happy clap, and she looked at Desi and goes, "Look, look, look! I become soon will become celebrity here. They already uh, like my storytelling. Ah, uh, your storytelling was fantastic. I know I was there, but I felt like I was there again. So yeah, you did uh, really good." Maybe I'm magical. Uh, I think, yeah, that uh, that is a magical skill. You paint the pictures in my brain, my Brian. I painted a picture in your Brian. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She's just so hyped right now. <laughs> he laughs and says, oh, oh, you want to be a celebrity, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 
it is my calling to become celebrity. I am a traveling minstrel now. Um, he laughs a little bit and uh, looks up at Vichetti and he goes, ah, maybe we got the next uh, Goblin Caden Kaylee in here, huh? And uh, Vichetti just kind of chuckles a little bit. And uh, he, he leans in a bit and goes, you know, that's a good, that was a good story. And I really appreciate how you elucidated it. Um, I'm going to be entirely honest with you. Had my attention the whole way through. Very impressive. I think it's going to be a hard bit to follow. And he gestures to Desi and says, what do you think, darling? Do you want to give it a shot? You want to tell me how you interpreted the event? Uh, no, Snooty did it best. I was going to say a thing, but uh, it was like Snooty was in my brain pulling out the words like a length of pearls out of, you know, uh, the, the gobbledy of my mind. And, uh, you know, I just... Uh, everybody oh, gets two uh... XP, and I'm making a rule that gobbledy... <laughs> Related eyebrows no longer count for more than one succession. I'm not allowing this method of XP farming to continue. This exploit is being nerfed. <laughs> I, um, anyways, browser off. Uh, the, the, just give him the XP silver. I did. Stop it! Stop it, chat! Don't don't encourage her. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Cracktooth looks a little crestfallen. He says, "Oh, well, I was really looking forward to your storytelling experiences, but uh, you know what? If you're not feeling up to the challenge, I totally understand. It's a hard act to follow." Pointing at Snooty and just gestures to Desi. Are you sure? I can't convince you to give me anything, or uh, should I just give? the the wind to this one because if i'm being entirely honest and no offense to you my dear uh gesturing to newt i loved what you were telling me but it was a little hard to follow this one has a knack for keeping the mind engaged so uh but still pointing to desert you never know unless you take your shot right okay that okay that that's fair i i can go if you'd like what? But I, I warn you, there's going to be a lot of technical terms. That's fine, my dear. There are all kinds of different tales to be told by all kinds of different people. He gestures to Vichetti. The tales this one has told me has definitely made it worthwhile keeping him around for the occasional broken nose or back or wrist or neck that he has caused me to certain members of my <clears throat> patronage. But, you know, this one, like gesturing to Vichetti and... With a little smile on his cracked tooth face, he goes, He's a patron of the arts. I can't tell you how many times I've seen him enthusiastically support each and every one of the aspiring entertainers who've come through here sitting at the table. You know, this 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 fellow here, he's a bit of a large patch of beef, but I think he's got a sensitive soul in there. Definitely seems to love to support the singers, especially. And Vichetti just kind of like, Oh, shut up. I'm here to drink. There are reasons for that. But he nudges you, Desi, and goes, Go on, Desi, tell him. Tell him you're accounting, huh? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, I'm not as good as Snooty, but uh, I was given one task, and that task was to help people around town. And maybe I'm not as good as Snooty, I was talking to people and telling stories, but I am very good at making bombs. So when I saw that there was a ghoul problem, I thought, you know, I could probably fix that. And then Snooty got bit and it was very scary. We were in the graveyard and we got chased by a bunch of ravenous ghouls. Uh, and, uh, you know, I got scared. She turned blue for a while. Wait, no purple. I don't remember. Uh, but she turned a different color. I thought she was going to die. And then after she got better, I went over and I said, <clears throat> I will take care of this problem. But what I actually meant was, I will achieve revenge. 
And so I hatched a plan in my head given to me by David Intervention. And I made uh, the the big holy uh, uh, sort of like, I don't know, is kind of, hmm, you know, it is bigger than a hand grenade, so I will call it the holy anti-daddy bomb of uh, the that guy on the block. Uh, and so anyway, we we put this over a hole, and my brave friends acted as bait. Uh, and uh, when it was time, I pulled the string, and then I couldn't, uh, you know, the bomb fell and made a lot of smoke that pushed into the tunnels and melted their flesh to death. I am not very good at stories. <laughs> Snooty. Snooty is better. I, listen, I just, I am the numbers in, in the reading couple. I am not the story couple. The bartender leans forward. I like forward. you did your story, Desi. Oh, thank you, Snooty. The bartender leans forward and he goes, All right, I'm going to be honest with you. It wasn't as good as I was pointing to Snooty, but I still enjoyed it. And I liked your perspective. You had a different way of framing things. It was a little bit more concise. Didn't necessarily have the dramatic flair, but, you know, to each their own. And stories are stories. They're told however they're told. There's a value to be had in each and every one of them. And I think that uh, I enjoyed it. So tell you what, because each and every one of you we're brave enough to go ahead and tell me the things that you've been up to and potentially make incriminating evidence known to me. Um, he reaches behind the counter and he pulls out like some very, very small shot glasses. Like they're very, they're like incredibly tiny. And he takes a, a very fancy ass looking bottle of wine and he goes, this is a special brew of mine. It's a family recipe. Something that uh, I've been making for years, and he leans in and he goes, and it's magic. And he just kind of wiggles his eyebrows in that kind of conspiratorial, like, mm. <gasps> So tell you what I'm going to do. I've never had goblins as patrons in here before. And to be fair, I initially thought that, oh, well, this is it. I'm fucked today. There's goblins in my place, and they're going to destroy everything. But, that hasn't happened. I'm actually quite impressed. You all carry yourselves with an air of personal ability. And uh, I like to keep an eye out for interesting people. And, well, you're maybe not people. You're still very cool. And uh, to that effect, he uncorks the bottle and he pours three very small glasses of the wine. And he slides it over to you. And holding it up to your face, you can smell like the scent of blackberry. Um, a very sweet kind of blackberry odor. And he goes, drink up, enjoy it, it's yours for free. And he puts the bottle down on the table and he goes, if you like the effects, and you think it's worth the purchase, each of these bottles is only ten gold, and they'll provide you with a little bit of a boost. And as he's mentioning that, um, he points to Snooty and he goes, especially, because as far as I'm able to interpret it, you sound like you're trying to make it big, huh? Trying to make a real performance uh -huh. out of yourself, hmm? Uh-huh, uh-huh. He leans in conspiratorially. My wine here can help with that. Oh? Mm hmm That's right. If you drink a fair number of this bit of this wine, maybe about... He takes out one of his normal wine glasses and holds it out, and it's... it's for you as a goblin, it would be a fair bit of drinking. If you drink about this much before you do a performance... It'll help you with your confidence, and it'll make your acting abilities even better. Which is hard to say for you, because you've already got them there, but if you drank some of this wine, just as a little forward, I guarantee you, you do even better. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, I'm afraid I can't just give it away. There has to be how something much, done for it. Well, each bottle is ten gold. I can do that. Yeah, Snooty, hey, uh, listen. How many here's... is ten? Because I got... She uh. jingles this big bag. <laughs> jingle, 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 jingle. Uh, 
Yeah, here, I hope you count that ten. One, two, three, four, Eleven. five, no, five, 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 see? Five is how many you have on one hand. Yeah. This, this, five? Uh -huh. Yeah, that five, there you go, see? Uh -huh. It's one, two, three, four, five, okay? And then if you do five plus five, it is ten. So do you go six, seven, That's how eight, it's done. Nine, ten. Yeah, yeah, you just keep going up one. Uh, yeah, so that that's how you do. But yeah, here is ten gold from me. Uh, you know, that is thank you uh, for not dying. <gasps> He's so fucking happy right now. <laughs> uh, before, as you count it out, he just gestures like uh, the bartender kind of puts his hand over the gold before anyone can really say anything, and he goes, "So am I right to assume that this is payment for the wine then?" For the bottle. Yeah, yeah, one one bottle, please. No, okay, perfect. And he just like, as soon as you're like halfway through the sentence, he already is moving the gold beyond behind the counter, like out of sight. And uh, he reaches down and he pulls out another one of those bottles. And it, this one isn't uncorked. And he says, all right, you want to make sure you keep that closed until the first time you do a little performance that you really need to do best on. Because uh -huh. if you do so, I guarantee you it'll help you. But don't you don't want to spoil it. You, you pop that cork now. You're only going to have so long to drink it all before it loses its effect. So make sure you don't open uh, this and drink it until you're ready to make the most of its effect on you, okay? Okay, 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 okay. And she, like, grabby hands, like, <laughs> she's barely, you can barely see her with the fucking counter because she's so small. You just see these two little, you see her little thingies, like, wiggling, grabby, trying to reach the bottle. <laughs> Machetti just leans over and drags it across the counter towards you. For you to grab off the edge of the countertop and put in your container or your pack. How tall is that countertop? Um, <laughs> like four feet. So like. Okay. Yeah, you guys are basically like like uh, uh, like up uh, up trying to like look over the edge of it. You. I mean, you're like children trying to. I got to I got a, a a floor. I got an invisible stepping stool. It's true. You're you're like actually up a decent height. So. Uh, the um the bartender just kind of goes right. Well, thank you so much for purchasing my wine. Um, and he gestures to uh Desi and says, "Would you consider yourself a performer in need of a boost as well?" Uh, well, no, I am more of a craftsperson, honestly. Okay, okay, all right. Wait, wait, wait. You build stuff. You make things, huh? Yeah, yeah, I make uh, lots of things, actually. Mm, mm. Sounds uh, like you're a pretty sturdy goblin, then, huh? Uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, I am structurally sound. Hmm, hmm. All right, tell you what. I've got an offer for you, then. He uh, reaches, okay. He reaches under the counter, and he brings out, like, a very... Um, strong smelling container of rum and uh, as he opens it those the scent that comes off of it is very like oh and uh, he goes this is another one of my drinks it's called the tooth cracker now it's not for everybody a lot of folks can't handle it but he gestures to you Desi and then he also points at Newt and he says the two of you look like you might be able to handle it. hmm How do you respond to that? Um, uh, yeah, I will, I, I will try it. Uh, I am pretty sturdy. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you mean by sturdy? Well, he starts uh, pouring two small glasses again of the, uh, of the shots of this rum, which has a very strong wafting over to it. And he just pushes them both out in front of the two of you, and he says, all right. Tell you what, if you can 
down a shot of this whiskey, or sorry, rum. It's my personal special blend of rum. And you can keep that without making a face or any reaction to it. I won't make you pay for it. Otherwise, each of these shots, one gold each. Okay, Nithin will try. immediately grab it and down it. <laughs> um, does it taste worse than 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 um than swamp bog brew? <laughs> hold, hold on. Desi already knew what I was going to ask. Newt, can you give me a fortitude saving throw as well? Um, to see how well you handle this this brew. Uh, so if you go under your proficiencies, or not uh, actually, yeah, yeah, okay, you're you're fine. So that's your fortitude roll there. Uh, Desi called goblin bullshit and re-rolled it with a fourteen. So we will reduce yeah. down to twenty nine points in the pool. Damn, you guys put Please a lot of points in the pool. Do not be mosquitoes. <laughs> well, now you know what's gonna happen. No. Um. Good news, Desi. Manticord. You have a very strong urge to consume manticore jelly. <clears throat> manticore jelly. Uh, you know, you're right. I don't think I like Kabuzi anymore. It's it's all about the manticore jelly. Hmm? How can you turn your back on the Kabuzi? Because uh, I just think of manticore jelly and my mouth starts to water. Wake up. What's the use to make your mouth water? I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Everybody gets one XP. I'll allow half because it's technically not using the Gablissi, but it is Gablissi adjacent. <laughs> Can I have a clip of him say that, please? I want him to say, <laughs> I'm gonna give him a half XP because, well, it's, it wasn't Gablissi. It's Gablissi a cheese. <laughs> I just want to make that a redeem for and my yes, channel, honestly. I mean, that I is just, I just, a blurb. I just need a redeem of Silver being like, it's not Gablissi, but it's Gablissi adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. All right. With a 14, you throw that drink back, Desi, and you barely manage to keep yourself from reacting strongly to it. It is a very strong, intense rum. Meanwhile, Newt, you have drunk worse, and it doesn't really register with you as much. Uh, uh, Newt will respond, this tastes way better than swamp water bog beer. <laughs> he remarks, he regards you with like a surprised look on his face and goes... Oh my goodness. You two are very sturdy goblins. Oh damn, I guess I'm out too gold. Well but tell you what, the experience was well worth it because I can tell, pointing to Desi, there was a lot of effort in there to make sure that you weren't giving me what I was looking for. Pointing to More Newt. please <laughs> Hold the glass out. He, he takes a moment to look at you holding it out and then laughs and says, All right, but yeah. I'm afraid the first one was free, but you gotta pay each time afterwards, so it'll be a gold, please, for another shot. It, it, okay, um, I will oh. pay for her I, thing. Here is I, a gold. I don't, I, I don't have no, any gold. He so, snatches the oh. gold off the countertop before you guys can talk about it and then pours another <laughs> shot and draw, pushes it over to Jasmine. I mean, Newt. I, I'm gonna give Newt ten gold. <gasps> this is the most money Newt's ever had. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, this, 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 we are sharing, but I gave Snooty 10 gold, so I figure I give you 10 gold, uh, and the rest, uh, we will, you know, decide later. All right. Well, that's fair enough. Um, so, as this is going on, Oh, what was the roll for? What? What the fuck? Newt, Newt drank oh. the, the, the drink. <laughs> yeah. See, we can safely say that you are able to really handle this horrible rum. Uh, well, not. it's not horrible. It's just incredibly strong. No, it's the best alcohol Newt's ever tasted. Uh, yes, to you, you're like, oh, yeah. Woo, fucking amazing. Great. This is fancy. Um, so, Vichetti, 
interjects as this interaction is going on and he just goes okay 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 just give us four understudies all right i'll cover the cost it, it's it's fine um just you know hook us up with the ale all right and uh <laughs> crack tooth smiles very happily and he goes well it's been more than profitable enough today already so you know what he just pushes he pours four of the uh, these cheap looking like mugs with cheap looking ale inside of it and pushes them all out onto the countertop and he says, first round's on me. Newt will immediately start chugging it. <laughs> no, 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 you don't, you don't drink it like that. Newt will slam down the empty mug and be like, what do you mean? You drink it like that, you get sick and you get all dizzy and then your body go, whoa, and she like, Makes like a <laughs> drunk motion. <laughs> and you drink it too fast that way. You drink it slow. You like the flavor of the drink. But normally you drink it fast so you don't have to taste the flavor of the swamp bog water. But did not swamp bog water. Newt's eyes will widen like she, like she just had the most like life changing thought. When she said it's not swamp water. Um, I get another so I can sip. How much for another one? He, he just chuckles and says it's two copper a drink. I don't have copper. How about don't have piece. I only have <laughs> And she puts one down. <laughs> Before anyone can say anything about it. With the practice movement of a, of a tavern keeper used to stealing money from drunkards, he just pockets it and goes, Well, tell you what, that's very generous of you. I'll get you another drink. And he points to all of you and he goes, How hungry are you three, huh? Oh, I am so hungry. Very hungry. Very hungry. <laughs> Vachetti laughs behind all of you. And uh, the, the bartender says, All right, you go find a place to sit. Make yourselves comfortable. Celebrate the experiences you've had. I'll go get you some drunk fish vittles together. It's a specialty of my house. It's a, it's a soaked fried fish and potato strips. I think you'll really like it. But you all make yourselves comfortable. What, what, I'll come back with What's it. taters? Oh, no. Fuck off. Yeah, okay, precious. <laughs> let me tell you what taters is. Uh, taters... <laughs> She's, right, while this conversation is going, she's pushing them towards a table. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. They are New from the float as you push. They are from the nightshade family, not commonly eaten due to the fear of being poisoned, but they are perfectly fine uh, unless you let them sit and then it's not okay. Uh, learn that the hard way with test frog. Uh, but you can mash them uh, and then boil them, and you can also stick them in a stew. <gasps> so, so there were taters in the stew that stew owes us. Yeah, yeah, beef stew has taters, yeah. And it pronounced potato. Yeah, potato. Ah, uh, yeah. Everybody gets two XP. <laughs> God. Um, do, you, do I need to roll for ch downing the, uh, the, the other um, alcoholic beverage? <laughs> no, the no? other beverage is not that strong. It would basically, to okay. you, it would equate to just flavored water, more or less, and you would need a lot of it to get plastered. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so eventually as you make your way over to a chair, uh, or to a, a table and, and pull up the chairs and everybody sits down and begin to kind of drink your drinks... Uh, Vachetti just takes a small drink of his and, and is like, oh, that's the stuff. I don't think I should have too much, though, because I do still have to work today. But uh, he leans forward, like a, a warm smile on his face, and he looks at all three of you and he goes, thank you. Thank you today. This is good day. I am loving this day. Oh, good. Oh, you are welcome. Is there anybody playing music or anything like that within the... Uh... Nope. In the tavern. There are only a couple of people who have come in like very early to drink the cheap drink and uh, it doesn't look like there's more than like six people in this space um, on top of you guys. So it's very 
low energy. Nobody's playing any music or anything. It's just becoming noon. You get the impression this is one of those places that liven up a lot more in the evening. Okay. She uh, she pulls out her lute and she goes, I am not going to sing because I want to learn new more songs before I go and do any type of singing music, but I want to play a celebratory song for you. Vichetti looks like, he looks at you for a second and he goes, Oh, oh, Smoothie, you perform, you sing, huh? All right, all right, well, uh -huh. and, he, and he gestures over to the stage and he goes, Go on, get up on the stage, give it, give it a little I know, I know sing though, because it's not people type music, but I play music for you for today. And once I learn new music song, I, I sing that for you. I, whatever you are going to do, I will love it. Please, up on stage, give us a show. Okay, and she like scurries up to the stage, <laughs> and uh, she's like super excited, and she pulls the lute off, and she starts like tuning it and all this stuff like that, and it it sounds awful with tuning until you suddenly hear a. There we go. <clears throat> and do you mind if I just play just a little bit of go just ahead. some chords? Be my guest. She repeats that in a, in a little bit of a uh, melody esque tune. You hear her kind of humming a little bit with it, and it, it doesn't sound as croaky as she normally does with with <laughs> her humming, as she very much is enjoying the piece because she is having a very good day today. Give me a performance roll with advantage, please. Hey, let's see where is this performance with advantage. Hey, there you go. That's good. That's mm -hmm. good. So everyone in the area, like you, so you play that out for a little bit and everyone in the area begins to take note of it. And uh, a couple of pe pe patrons in the bar are kind of like, they stop and take notice. And some of them are like, hey, good tunes. And others are like, is that a fucking goblin? Um, and as you're up there <laughs> <laughs> strumming away, you can see uh, coming out from behind the kitchen area is the bartender who uh, cracked tooth, and he's carrying plates of food. And he's like watching you as you're performing. And it, as you finish and stop, there's like a couple of people in the area who are like, yeah, like clapping for you. Goblins, do you, do you join in the claps as well? Yes. Newt and Newtie will clap. <laughs> What about De Desi? Desi, do you clap as well? Uh, I clapped. I don't think it picked up on Discord, though. Okay. But yes, I am clapping. Good, good. And Vichetti, he's just like, he he's like got a tear running down his eye. And he goes, oh, beautiful. I didn't know. I didn't know, Snoopy. And he like gestures over to you and he says, please, please, please. Um, I... I am so grateful. Thank you. It, I would love to have you sing and perform for me anytime. I am a big supporter of. And he just like he he fishes into his uh, his pocket and he's like my normal tradition here when I think like the performance of somebody is the drinks that that artist the drinks are on me for the night. But uh, you know what? Your drinks are on me today, Snoody. If you want any more, okay. Uh and she's like super happy. She's holding her lute in front of her as she heads back over to the table. And she goes, Thank thank you. And she's all like her her little cheeks are all like blushed up and she's all like smiling. <laughs> and as Practice walks over with the food, he begins to put it down in front of all of you. And he leans over to you, Snooty, and goes, Well, that's gonna be a bit of a problem, actually, Vichetti. Um you see the lovely little goblin here who just strummed such a tune. Actually, her drinks are on me for this afternoon, so you don't need to worry about it. He leans in towards you, Snooty, and says, There is one little thing, though, that I think you should consider, at least, before I go ahead and uh, give you a few more free drinks. Uh, tonight uh -huh. is uh, one of our, our um, well... <laughs> I suppose what it is called is a 
Oh, it's it's more of a uh, a moon day tradition uh, that we get up to, but uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure how you'll adapt to it. But uh, during the evenings, when the um, standpoint theater is generally closed, uh, we put on a little bit of a performative element here in the tavern for anybody who might be missing the performances at the theater itself. Uh, these are randomly determined acts, essentially, is the way it, it comes down to. Uh, more, more or less, it's a, a competition. Uh, so, would you like me to explain it to you? Yeah, it sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. Well, um, the, what we do is uh, he goes over behind the bar and he brings out uh, a bunch of stained uh, wooden chips in uh, what appears to be like an empty keg. And he fishes his hands around and he goes, all right, so essentially what it comes down to is whatever you choose to perform or however the performance forms itself is entirely up to the artist to interpret. But uh, essentially there's a theme every night that is determined by my barrel here. And he reaches in and he pulls out two and he goes, all right, so generally I choose how many are going to be stringed together for the night. So if I was to pull for tonight, for example, it would be, and he puts one out and he says, oh, <laughs> that, that, that's interesting. Potatoes. Uh, all right, uh, let's try the other one. Pulls it out, puts another chit down. <laughs> well, if that isn't appropriate. Potatoes, goblins. Well, there you have it. So, essentially, the evening's events and performances would be themed around that. So your performance would have to encompass potatoes and goblins. Admittedly, an easy one for you right now, gesturing to the food on your plate and like gesturing to you. So perhaps you had an advantage on that, but this was just a test draw. It's not the one going on for the night. But if you're interested this evening, I do do these impromptu performance nights for people who are looking to prove themselves. And the ones who are able to win my little competition, the uh, the winner is... Well, it's based on audience reaction, more or less. So... Uh, anyways, I give a line of credit to those who are able to win themselves for my improvisational evenings. And uh, if you would like a line of credit, which uh, essentially what that means is uh, about 20 gold worth of whatever I have to provide in here, which could be two bottles of my magic wine for you, for instance, or whatever else you want to spend it on. If you're able to win the performance, or if you have a group that you would like to perform with, then your group would be entitled to that credit. So... Something to keep in mind for this evening, if you'd be interested. Uh, what do you What do you two think? Should I do? Should I do it? Uh, you know that is pretty good. It, it would start. Maybe maybe you could ask multiple places. Maybe that yeah. is like your job. Machetti uh. leans in. And he says, you know, Snoopy, if you're trying to become a celebrity of sorts and a well-known performer, one of the best places you could eventually end up in this area of the world is Magnamar. But most people get started somewhere smaller. And uh, I have seen one or two interesting performers come through this bar here. Cracktooth has always been a wonderful place for potential performers to find, uh, shall we say, a discovery of their talents by a wider audience. So I think it would be good for you, you know, to find the opportunity to perform tonight, uh, act on that, uh, and uh, maybe uh, maybe you could uh, get some attention for your uh, skills, huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like bouncing and she's happy and excited. I do, I do this thing. I do the thing. <laughs> and he points to Desi and he goes, and you? You seem to strike me as one who has a little bit of experience when it comes to uh, alchemical reactions, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I am very familiar with uh, chemical compositions and using formulas to create items. And he nods and he says, well, 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 uh, pointing to Desi, um, he goes, I've seen a few people come through here with their performances to add a little flair. And uh, you might be able to facilitate something of your own concoction to create maybe a bit more of a uh, uh, poof. Uh, well, Snoopy is performing, yes? You you mean you want 
effects. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever that means. Uh, there is a, a good, uh, you know, degree of entertainment that we had with uh, magic and uh, alchemy used in conjunction with performances. I have seen some very impressive attempts at it. Although, if I am being entirely honest, uh, it is uh, how you would say uh, a little dangerous at times. I have seen it go wrong too. But uh, if you like your friend here, Snoody, uh, enough in what she likes to put her time and effort into, then maybe you could take your skills and talents to, uh, how do we say, um, improve the performance, huh? Ah, oh. okay, that is pretty clever. Mm. I think it is a good idea. He nods, and he gestures to Newton and says, and, uh, well, you know, at baseline, if you'd be interested, it was Snooty's performing, Floating goblins do draw a lot of attention, so just being on stage, honestly, might help to that degree. But I'm I'm a little unfamiliar with you and your capabilities. Tell me, is there anything else you can do that might be uh, interesting to an audience, uh, Noop? Um, um, I can make plants and trees and, and animals do cool things. Oh, oh! So you couldn't have like dancing animals on stage, huh? I mean, if they wanted to dance, I won't make it. I wouldn't make them. Uh, that's better than some people I have seen. Uh, so I have gone to a few circuses in my time. You want a tree inside your bar? I can make a tree inside your bar. <laughs> Crack tooth as he's like walking away from the bar, turns around and goes, "Oh no, 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 darling! That won't be. There's more than enough wood it in here." I, I wouldn't know what to do with it, if I'm being entirely honest. Okay. Newton looks sad and just go back to eating. <laughs> and Vichetti just kind of leans forward and goes, Look, 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 it seems like you have... Um, what you're telling me is kind of a druidic in nature uh, of abilities, yeah? It's so I'm picking up here. You seem oh, very... My. In what's what's, with what's druid? <laughs> right. It's not important. Lots of crazy folks who sit around in the woods talking to plants and animals and occasionally come into town naked. It's fine. But Are you saying I'm crazy? I do those things. Uh, don't worry about what Vashedi has said. Vashedi is uh, not always best speaker. But if you have some abilities you could lend to the performance, and to be honest, three goblins on stage doing anything, is already going to be a big attractor. Um, if you were to perform tonight, Vichetti could perhaps help spread the word a little around town, but uh, come to Cracktooth tonight, there might be goblins performing. Uh, could be an interesting experience, huh? Oh, 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 I can, I can hang things with, with rope. You would, oh, would do what with rope exactly? What rope? You do not appear to be carrying any. Oh, you want to see rope? Um, sure. <laughs> She'll just reach in and start pulling out her intestines <laughs> and handing them to him. <laughs> so you start pulling out, like, lengths of your intestines and handing it to the bitch, like, Fichetti, and he's just stuck in abject horror. Um, Desi, how do you want to react to her doing that? Desi? Yeah, one second. I'm just going to do this real quick. Okay. <laughs> 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 Snooty, what about you? What, what's your there's, reaction? There's, there's 50 of, rope, of inside rope. <laughs> Gross! Uh, you have to put that back How you do in. this? Yeah, how is that not hurting you? It don't it's hurt. It's terrible. Uh, it's, it's rope. I can watch. I <laughs> Throw rope no. over. <laughs> oh! <laughs> And so I like and like tie it and start climbing up to the ceiling on intestines. 
Okay, that is pretty cool, actually. You, you guys are all watching this, and Vachetti is just locked in abject horror, and the guy behind the bar is like, huh, haven't seen that before. And some patron off in the corner just goes, oh. <laughs> as you just watch Newt, like, create a, like, hook her, or her fucking intestines in uh, an arc around one of the, like, uh, um, beams of the building and just start climbing up it and being like, look, woo, and it's creating a fair bit of, like, uncomfortable mess as a result of it. Not as bad as if you actually had been disemboweled, but it's definitely an unsettling uh, experience for everybody. And what do you do next, Newt, as you're just kind of, like, hovering up there? Uh, she'll start pulling the intestines back and putting them back inside. So those start unraveling from uh, Vachetti's lap where Newt dropped all the 50 feet of it. <laughs> uh, all right, so you come back down eventually? Uh, no, no, she's like pulling up to the ceiling. She's on the banister pulling the rope up. Oh, okay. So what are you, uh, what else are you like getting up to? She's just going to put all the intestines back and then be like, see, magic, and then take a bow. And another guy in the corner is going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody at the table is like, uh, uh, and Desi, you're barely keeping your food down uh, after I imagine you you tucked into like the, well, the fish uh, and chips that were provided to you. Fuck yeah. Uh, Snooty, do you still have an appetite for the remaining food on your plate, or are you like a little turned off? She 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 looks she looks at the food, one spoonful. I can't let this go to waste. It tastes so good. <laughs> but I want to throw up, and I don't want to do that. Do you? I don't know how to get down. Do you, uh... I'm not touching you. Do, do you... Do, do you still eat it? Yeah, she still eats it. She's give, just upset about everything. Give me a fortitude saving throw, please, Snooty. Will do. How tall is the ceiling? Four to two. Uh, probably only like. Okay, well, you're like food more important. Stomach can deal with it. <laughs> and Vachetti uh, hasn't really touched his at all, and you just kind of start taking some from his plate too, because <laughs> he's like, nice. Uh, do not have appetite anymore. So you're just like, that's gross. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. All right. So yeah. It will as... attempt to uh, to jump down from banister. Okay. Give me an acrobatics roll, please, or an athletics, whichever is more akin to what you would prefer to do. Um. Hey, there you go. You float down easily enough and land like one foot above the ground as if you had landed on a flat surface, making very little noise, but still like making the appearance of you jumping and then like uh, landing on the ground so uh you're um you 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 managed to land easily though and uh i assume now you start or did you already pull up your rope organs uh, oh, yeah, yeah right the, ro there? the rope's already gone yeah the rope's already back and back all right so the uh and then the... <laughs> i'll land and bow and be like would that work for performance <laughs> The, uh, the, the the bartender Cracktooth just kind of looks at you from across the room with like a very interested look, and Vachetti just kind of goes, "Well, it would be memorable, yes, perhaps, although not very popular with Cracktooth pointing over at him, as it may cause." And he gestures to the two people across the room who threw up on the floor. Um a bit more work for him at the end of the night and Cracktooth from behind the, the counter goes well I'm not entirely enthused about the idea of more vomit to clean at the end of the night than I usually deal with but to be fair that's not my problem that's the ones I employ's problem so what, 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 what if I do magic like this 
ooh, and start waving her hands, like all like mimicking the spooky kind of hand movements that um, Snooty was doing, and then be like, ooh, turn myself into Newt, and then turn in, then just like wild shape into an actual normal Newt. <laughs> <laughs> and and as you do that, Nudie notices you and put, puts his head down and kind of like puts you on top of his head. So he like rears up proudly with you sitting on his head as a little newt. And uh, can I get an exclamation mark D20 from chat as well for an element uh, that I think would apply in this instance? So just, uh, just lowercase exclamation mark D20, all one word. Perfect. Thank you, Evil Krieger. Um, yeah, so Newt, as you do that, there's some sort of unseen force that influences the event going on here because you you intend to project an air of entertainment with it. So as you do so, you jump on, on Newt's head, Newt's head, he raises you up in the air, and you kind of do like a little bit of like Newt hands uh, as best you can. And suddenly there's just this burst of like mag magical particles that kind of fly out from behind Nudie that nobody can really figure out where the fuck they came from that just creates like a foo and <laughs> the crack tooth looks at it for a minute and goes that one that one is better yeah um th th uh, i'm going to be honest that that one is is much better yes um maybe not the organs thing definitely the little noob thing that i'm going to be honest that was adorable Newt will start clapping her hands and as the newt and then climb up onto the table as the newt and start eating the food and be like, more food this way. <laughs> so as this continues on, we're not going to spend the entire fucking time in crack tooth, but for the most part, now you guys have been imparted with the idea that should you so choose to uh, seize the opportunity this evening, um, later on in the time, aka <coughs> next session, um, you would have the opportunity, if you so wished, oops, that is not the what I wanted to play, thank you. We're going back to the tavern ambience, thanks. Um, you get the impression that, like, if you so chose to spend that time, aka next session, uh, in the evening doing a performative element for some of it, then you could join in on the improv night, air quotes as basically you could call it, and see how well that pans out, more or less. And if you guys want to do it as a group or whatever. So it's it's food for thought for next session. But for now, Vichetti sits there and, and kind of looks over all of you and says, you know, you have been a very interesting addition to this town. There are many characters with different in, uh, interesting elements to them, but the you know, I'm I'm honestly impressed. What, if you don't mind my asking, why exactly did you even want to come to Sandpoint from where you live? Didn't we tell you? I mean, that. Look, that I, got, I told you when I came in. I got the general impression um, that uh, you did not like swamp. You know, it was shittier experience. Not a great time, but. Surely you had family that you care about, uh, people that you would want to see again, goblins that you that you that you you miss. I, I don't know how to get back to my swamp. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, as far as I'm aware, it was a the... good swamp, though. Well, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, you t you come from a different tribe than these two do, yes? Gesturing to Desi and Snitty. Ah. Uh. And even though new. Newt should know the answer. Newt will still look to Desi to, to see how Desi reacts before <laughs> answering. <laughs> Desi, how do you react? Uh, uh, hmm. I mean, Swamp is kind of stinky. No! Why did you turn that into a blurb? <laughs> what? Well, but, but what do you mean? What do you mean? I... I mean, what? This, what do you mean? This catastrophe chat, the fucking what? FB just linked to me in the group. I don't. What are you talking about? It's perfect. <laughs> uh, continue with your response. Can you repeat it? Because though I forgot what I was at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I I got too proud of myself. 
god. You got you flew too close to the Gablissi. I I <laughs> uh, I'm putting I these up, but I told you I, I should have been Gablissi adjacent. Yeah, I told you these are going up, but you get no <laughs> XP because I told you I nerfed that particular farm. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. That's a, that's all right. Um, yes, so as you, uh, as you spent <laughs> once, you get one procession that counts, otherwise you don't get the XP. Um, yeah, so you, you spend the time to kind of, like, t or, sorry, fuck, uh, yeah, uh, Vichetti is basically asking you, like, Desi, does Newt come from, like, Newt doesn't come from your tribe, right? No. Okay, so how does Desi reply to that? Uh, I mean, we're all from different tribe. I don't really know where Newt came from, but Newt is our friend. Uh, honestly, I was from a tribe in the jungle, and then uh, the people came in, and we ended up trading with them for a while, and then I ended up going to live in a human town, uh, and I learned how to read uh, and to write recipes for bonds, and 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 then the fucky bastard Tim Timatom blew me up on a boat, and I will seek revenge. I will pour melted oils into his eye sockets. Wait, what were you asking me again? Oh, thank you, Anonymous, for adding one more point to the pool. I appreciate that. <laughs> I did it all for the capuzzi. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I'm I'm so glad I could be part of the Kablissi team this evening. Uh, Vachetti looks at you, Desi, and goes, "Interesting. So you you actually lived amongst the uh, other people uh, before. Where where have you did you previously find yourself living?" I was I I the the, the village that I was in before uh, was called River Frog Village because we were by a pond. Uh, not a really good name because it was not a river. Uh, it was more like a lagoon, but there was lots of frogs. And people came uh, to harvest wood, uh, and we ended up trading with them. Uh, but yeah, we we I am different gobble than those gobbles, uh, you know, because uh, I am taller and uh, I have a tail. So we lived in trees. Oh, you can imagine that that caused some sort of contention. I believe you had mentioned you had spent time in Magnamar as well. One time I had spoken to you, it, it, what facilitated you leaving your original home for that? Well, I wanted to learn how to be people and, you know, uh, honestly, all other gobbles pretty dumb, um, so... Hmm. Reasonable enough. And he points to Snooty and says, And Snooty, you know, you're giving me bits and pieces here, but uh, why are you so committed to becoming a performer, exactly? Huh? So, so tribe that I was from beforehand, too. Because not from other one is okay. Um, they're, uh, they, they used to call me Crow. And it hurted in my feelings. Um, one day I go to Big People Village, and they they had really pretty peoples, and I heard named Snooty, and I saw performers, and and wanted to become celebrity, so then people would treat me same way, but nobody in the original village would do that. So I went to New Village, and they still didn't do that there either. Oh. But now I'm here. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. You Sorry, blame Peter. there was a there was a poorly timed comic that was put in the group chat, which I will not be sharing with the chat. Um. <laughs> That also made me laugh. Um, Vichetti nods and says, I'm sorry that you have not been able to garner the respect you seek, but 
Tell you what, he puts his hand on your head. And it, it's like, it encompasses like your whole fucking skull, practically. He's got such large hands. And he goes, but Jedi will always call you Snooty. And I will always be happy to call you that, no matter what, okay? Thank you. And she's like, starts crying. And I never, I didn't even tell Desi this story. Desi didn't know I was called Karoka before. Uh, 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 yeah, no, that, that, you are snitty. No, no croak. Yeah, yeah. It is okay. <laughs> oh, it is okay, Pat. Um, he looks over at Newt and says, and you, Newt, you, you seem to be new to the group, but, uh, do you have any intention of ever returning to your home? I mean, from what you have said, it sounds like the people or goblins you lived with originally were kind of shit. I'm sure they did it out of love. Hmm. Isn't it, isn't it normal to, to, to bury people in, in, alive in, in box and leave them? He gives you, like, a very what? serious look. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about what you just said, and he leans forward, and he goes, you know, I Vichy? think it was a prank. They were going to come dig me up, but I think they forgot why they buried him all. Mm. They well. seemed shocked when I came back to town. <laughs> the chatty gives you, like, a very serious look for a second, and he goes... Newt, can I tell you a little story about my own history? Yes. You see, I grew up in a wild place. There, uh, moved around a lot. Very nomadic. Uh, my family, very interesting family. My father, he would always say, Vichyadi, if you're not going to do what I tell you, then save us all the trouble and walk into the forest and never return. And I would always say, Father, you make the, the most humorous jokes. You always make the funniest jokes. I would not do that. I would die. And he would always say, yes, my son, but I would not be sad. And I thought, you know, hmm, he joke a lot. He make a lot of jokes. They seemed kind of rude at times. Um, my father, I always thought, he do those things out of love, right? He always makes sure that the Chedi is the one who is, uh, is shown the right lessons. All his actions seeming cruel, always very much so loving, yes? And I thought time and time again, but she had to come back home. But she had to come home and he say, Father, I have done this. Father, I have killed these people. Father, I destroyed such and such. I, I've done a lot. And every time, my father, he would tell me, but Shetty, why have you returned from the forest? I told you that you should stay there. I always thought, oh, father, he big joker, he big joker. And then one night, Vichedi realized that uh, what his family had done out of love, what Vichedi had thought, was not quite so loving. And Vichedi, he decided one evening that it was enough. So Vichedi, Vichedi, he goes, he goes, he gets his father drunk, he wraps him in rope and and he wraps him in a little bit of meat you know he's very intoxicated and meat the his father yes meat rope meat rope yes not like yours but similar um i bring him out into the woods and he says vachetti why is it you bring me out in the woods this is where you are supposed to be and i say yes father i absolutely agree this is exactly where i need to be and i leave him on spot and ground and then i watch as wolves tear the flesh from his bones Because you loved him. Mm -hmm. Because I love myself. I, I remember being left out in the swamp like that for the snappy jaws. I see. How did you survive? I just did. Mm. They also, they always seem surprised when I came back. I think, okay. I think it's just because they missed me so much. He puts a hand on your head and, and like, like he takes it as an opportunity to see if he can make you like float downwards by putting pressure, but it's like, 
What the fuck? As he realizes that it's like putting... You're standing on solid ground, essentially. And he looks a little confused, but like, is then just rustling your hair. And he goes, you know what, Nuke? You and I have that in common. We would always go to the woods, and every time they'd be surprised to see us come back. So, you know what? I think I will call you a little sister, huh? But you're not goblin. No, 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 no. Family is not about who you are born as, is uh, what you form, or blah, 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 all those things. Family is who you, you gesture to and you say, hey, you are my brother, you are my sister, Izzy, 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 Oh. And he nods. That, and... oh, that go ahead. is no brochetti. Brochetti. <laughs> he, he slams his fist on the table and he leans into all three of you and he goes, You know what? Let's make it official. Each and every one of you. I have found a much more deep, important bond in my life than I have ever spent around anyone other than my sons and my former wife. Therefore, I make you all official members of my family. Each and every one of you are my little sisters, and I will do whatever I can for each of you to succeed. Hmm? Does that sound good? Even Nuti? Hold up, Nuti. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Brother Nuti, <laughs> you are now my brother, too. I don't know why the storyteller keeps calling Nuti brother, but Nuti are always been girl. Oh, shit. My bad. Um, <laughs> he didn't yeah, it know. It is very evident. <laughs> he... Can you not understand the sexual differences <laughs> in Nuts? Shut up. <laughs> he, he goes, my apologies, <laughs> sister Nuti. And he leans he back. You. And he gestures over to Cracktooth, who's already, like, on his way with another round of drinks. And he, they're put out, and Cracktooth just kind of, like, nods his head at uh, each and every one of you. And uh, um, as he, he does so, Vachetti puts the drinks out in front of each of you, being like, don't drink it yet. And splaying out the cheap drinks, he puts the he raises his into the air above all of you, and he goes, this is called a toast. Do any of you know what the toast is? Uh, yeah, I know what the toast is. Uh, well, oh, thank you, look, honey, Oni, for the grade, first of all. fucking nerd came in here reading all sorts of fancy like uh you know why don't you put down your gobble that you made as you know like a thing to share <laughs> Look, welcome welcome in readers yes and and and, and honey gobble <laughs> it's funny yeah. the, the timing is good we're very close to the end of our session tonight but before we end the session i invite everybody who came in with the raid with honey oni to settle in and see the finale of this night's session. Um, and thank you for being here and make sure that you guys show some love to her because Honey Oni is a very talented artist and is a lovely lady and I think you guys would enjoy her company. She can be a sassy, sassy butt sometimes, but uh, overall, pretty good company. But moving forwards on that front. Um, he knows about the go bless you, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. It was translated into her chat. Anyways, moving on from the go bless you, uh -huh. Uh, Vichetti has asked you all if you know what a twit a, a, a fucking a toast is. It's 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 bread but hard. <laughs> uh, I thought so. I, maybe toast. I thought toast was the thing you used to clean dishes. Uh. You know, I don't it's, remember. It's what it you is... do when you put something near fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I, have um, I think it can also be memory. expression. Like, like. Oh, yeah. Like, like that Gablissi is toasted. Yeah, yeah, I have heard that before. What? Why do you keep saying Gablesi? I need I need to know these answers. Ah, got you. Uh, Gablesi is a uh, goblin spin on a very popular meme uh, of the 
the the pussy, which is you know, as we all know a uh, term for uh, usually someone's rear end opening. Uh, I don't I know you know if people have those. Uh, they could have cloacas for all I know. Uh, but the, uh, yeah, so uh, the the term. Uh, is goblin tinged uh, for you know specific humor reasoning? Uh Um, all right, yes, anyways, uh, with all that said and done, apparently nobody knows what a toast is, and Vichetti leans forward and he says, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our drinks here, and he lifts his up and he says, and when I say cheers, you put it against my drink in the middle, and then we all drink it. Does that, uh, you understand that? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 we, we, we toast, yeah. Okay, now, generally... It's good to make a toast to something, something that uh, we we all make a toast to. So we go around the table, we say what we are making the toast to, and then we all toast together for it. So I will start. He raises his glass and he says, I give a toast today to unlikely friends, though they may be small in stature. The Chidi appreciates them nonetheless. And he gestures to Newt for her toast. Um, you new amazing best friends that don't bury you alive and leave you in swamp. <laughs> and new big brother. He gestures to Desi. Uh, I am happy that my friends are safe and that families will be restored. And he gestures to Snooty. I... Do a cheers to new friends, new family, and soon to be celebrity me. <laughs> but Chetty nods and says, All very good. Then, on the count of one, we slam our drinks together and we drink them. Three, uh, two, and one. And he puts it forward, and everybody, I assume you clink your drinks together with his, Thanks. or just. Someone have any uh, shit to do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any? You're welcome. I had two cups. Yes, thank you, thank you. Two uh, cups, Snooty. I did not. Uh, Snooty, why? Why do they let you have two cups? I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a pretty good answer. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys clink your drinks together, and Vichetti slams his back almost instantaneously. Like he, he is a practice drinker, and the the, the drink that he he downs is uh, very quick on that front. He slams his drink down, and he goes, "Good, well, it has been wonderful celebrating this time together. When I am free from the jail, I will come witness your performance if you are going to be here this evening. If not, I understand you have other business to attend to. But I'm pretty sure he leans in and he says." From what I've heard, you're looking for endorsements for living here in town. But Chetty obviously already is going to provide his signature for you. No issues there. But if you win the performance here, perhaps you can convince Crack to, to also provide that signature. He, uh, he might be uh, very willing to endorse your continued presence here if you prove to be very entertaining. Hmm? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he nods his head and he says, but for now... I return to the jail. I leave you three for whatever you're going to be doing for the rest of the day, and in the evening I hope to see you back here, and I look forward to seeing whatever performance it is that you come up with. So he excuses himself from the table and starts to head towards the door, and as he turns around he also goes, and remember, when people are kind to you, there's a lot you can accomplish. Thank you.
my wonderful goblin friends. What am I saying? Thank you, my wonderful goblin family. And as he opens the door to step outside, I think now is a perfect time for us to end tonight's session. Oh! <laughs> oh, I have uh, I have All double right. I have double uh, audio going. My bad. There we go. Oh. I have to play our traditional outro music. <laughs> but congratulations, players. Uh, that was fantastic. I it was all an RP heavy session, but you know what? I loved every second of it. It was very amusing, and you guys did very well with it, and I honestly had some genuine emotional moments there, so thank you. I very, very much appreciate that. Also, critical, every gobble is thick because these ladies be bussins. <laughs> oh, are you upset with that? Are you upset that the yeah, gobbles are, are thick? Like, why, why are you are not you entertained? Not? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I kind of feel like we're we're being attacked a little bit. <laughs> Listen, could, it's not my fault that I have a want. negative two to stealth because my thick goblin cheeks clap every time I'm sneaking around in the swamp. <laughs> All right. God, that's why we lived in trees. Nobody questions why the trees are clapping. God <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well. Thank you so much, everybody, for all the raise and contributions this evening. This has been a very wonderful stream, and we we really appreciate your support, like, a lot. Like, I, 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 I know I personally struggle sometimes with feeling like what I provide has any worth and what I make is of any value to anybody, and I try to make sure that that doesn't, you know, uh, affect what I do, but to be honest, uh, when you guys show such support and engagement for projects like this when we run it, it, uh, it provides a, a very deep well of motivation for me. So um, thank you. I very, very much so appreciate it. And thank you to my wonderful players for their very talented role-playing and just genuine lovable presence because uh, I just, I love doing this. I, I love it so, so, so much. So if you could all uh, also at home give some support to these wonderful people, I would really appreciate it because those Twitch links there are provided for everybody who's involved with this project thus far. And I would really, really appreciate you giving some follows and some engagement on their channels because um, every person who has been or is still involved in this project is very dear to me and I appreciate them to no end. So thank you so much to everybody who's been with here for us for now. You have something I, I need to check before the end? Okay, what is it, War Bandit? Are you DMing me something? Suspicious? Anyways, there's also a YouTube link provided there where you can go ahead and watch our previous broadcast for this project. So if you guys want to catch up on what we've been doing, you can totally watch previous sessions there. God damn it, War Bandit. Can somebody time him out for five seconds? <laughs> um, but... <laughs> thank you everybody for being here we really really appreciate that and uh Effie do you have a raid target that you could find for me and not immediately engage while we do the closeout I would never do that <laughs> Listen, I feel a little taxed look I um, just, you've had a um a nippy day, and I figured it would uh -huh. just be good to remind. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Listen, I am perfectly sober. <laughs> Anyways, while you go ahead and find our raid target hunt, I'll let mm -hmm. me go ahead and check in with each and every one of our players, and then we can go ahead and drop a little raidy poo. So, and again, audience, thank you guys for being here. We really appreciate you. But, Jasmine, did you enjoy once more uh, getting to uh, wield the full might that is Newt's ignorance? Yes, it's Newt is incredibly fun to play because it makes it real easy to uh, set up situations that upset you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, I have a question. I have a uh -huh. question for for making a blurb. Can I have fifty XP? Can we all have fifty XP? 
<laughs> just, just to immortalize the fact that we did that. I am not and then, leveling and then, you to level three at the end of this uh, session. That, no. that blurp is. I'm gonna put that blurp on my stream. Does that help? Yes, it does. I very appreciate it, and you know, I think I might turn that into a TikTok and share it around too uh, on the D and D subreddit stuff. Um, <laughs> but it's worth fifty XP. Yeah, I think it's worth fifty XP. I mean, yeah, I've already come I literally on. just now added it to my stream, so now anyone can use channel points to hear that lovely blurb. Uh, yeah, come on. <laughs> Hold on. And then Hold we'll on. let the bit die. We'll get a yeah, new yeah. bit. We won't do, we will we'll drop the, we won't, ha yeah, we yeah, won't yeah. throw on Glibusi as much next session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. We'll make something else. Promise. Mm. It's a good send off for the Glibusi. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Yes. You, get, you each get 50 <laughs> extra XP for just how absent. You know what? You managed to make me literally switch over to the ending soon screen, so I think that it that is indicative of a little extra element there. Okay. So, how do you level up again? You, you hit enter the... once you have it full, uh, or sorry, oh. you, you you change your level to the one. So you hit three, oh, okay. and then you bring it bring it down to that, and there you go. Now you are level three. <gasps> level three. So wait, we leveled up to level three from that? Mm, no, Desi did. Oh, yeah, I think just Desi did. Because <laughs> I killed the ghouls, so I got a little ahead of you guys. I'm sorry. It's all right. I will make up for it in some crafted items since I don't need to sleep. And we can <clears throat> talk about that later without the, the DM uh, being nosy. <laughs> Look forward to seeing what bullshit you pull. <laughs> But thank you, Jasmine, again. I appreciate you being here and always appreciate having you here. And please make sure that you guys at home who aren't already, please follow Jasmine. Um, she is in this list of, oh, fuck, if I could type, fuck <laughs> goblins. Jesus, the, the, fuck. The Glibus he hasn't been able to type. Oh, fuck me. Um, anyways, yes, Jazz is Jasmanian Devils on Twitch. Please oh, make no. sure you give her a follow and some love. And uh, next up, I know you're feeling... Um, rather internally assaulted right now, Snooty, so you can just keep it as short as you like, but did you have a fun tonight? I had so much fun tonight. It was seriously a blast. I'm glad that I was feeling well enough to be as engaged. It's been a while since I've been able to do that, and I'm really happy. I mm -hmm. love this game so fucking much. <laughs> and I love and appreciate the work that you put forward as a player and as an artist, and just as a general human being, because you make a lot of this uh, so much more worth now, it. Now, I'm in a lot of pain. Do not try to make me cry over <laughs> emotional things. Listen here, buddy. I'll 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 start sharing that clip around to, to Shinny and everybody else so they all know that you say goblissy a lot. Do it. Fucking I'll... send it to them. Heck yeah. Full God damn it. Sense. No, he'd actually like that. Never mind. God damn it. Not do it. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. thank you, all Ash. Right, well, I'm going to your... do it for your awesome initiative on all this stuff. And uh, I, I'm glad I was able to give Snooty more uh, elements of things that line up in her wheelhouse today. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, yeah. lastly, before we go right out, uh, Effie, did you enjoy laughing your fucking ass off all night? I, okay, so I have, I have something to admit. Uh, uh -huh. I, uh, I took some catnip to go to bed. Um, cause my ass was too hyper and then, uh, it backfired and I spent most of the session laughing at every little fucking thing <laughs> and, uh, my cheeks hurt. So I had a fucking hell of a time and, uh, yeah, I'm just really glad that I get to hang out with my friends and just play fucking goofy little goblins and have a great fucking time. And I just, I'm really thankful that, uh, you know, you guys were so supportive today. It really helps because that money goes back into the project. And it just, I don't know, it just, it just, it feels really nice. I just, I, I like being here playing D&D &D with you guys. And I like making you guys laugh. And, you know, I just, uh, it's one of my favorite days of the week. Oh, yeah. It's one of my favorite days, too. So thank you, everybody, again. And Effie, do you want to go ahead and start our raid on Mr. Brunswick there, pretty please? Yeah. 
Uh, and just, and again, one more reminder for everybody, if, uh, if you need the links related to stuff, you can follow those links there. And also there is a YouTube link where you can follow the previous broadcasts and watch previous sessions, and then this one will be up there too, blah blah blah, yada yada yada, etc, etc, I could talk for forever. Uh, Effie, any last things you, you need to say before we write on up? <clears throat> yes. Listen, guys, we have to think of something else that isn't Kablissi for next time. So make sure to put that in the suggestion box on the Discord. Uh, make sure you click on all the fucking links and say hi to all those lovely people. Uh, we're going to go watch the Cowboy Pew Pew Bang Bang. And uh, tomorrow will be Aether. And that, I think, has almost everybody here um, and involved in the project almost. And I think the only people that aren't in there yet is Jazz and uh, Gabi, I think. Right? Gabi was in it for a little bit, but they oh, yeah. popped Got back it. in. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, Aether's going to be really fun because a certain map uh, should be updated, so if you don't make it into the first one, you might end up in another map. <gasps> I think dun, it might dun, be our setup dun. now. If Jenico wakes up in the air, Jenico gets put in the other map with no explanation, I'm just going to say she crawled into a fucking crate and got shipped. <laughs> 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 All right, we are right, getting. Bye, <laughs> we are going on with the raid though. So thank you, everybody. Make sure you tune in tomorrow have for a good time. and also tune in on Wednesday for Warhammer Ramp and Glory. Blah, blah. Skyrim, baby. Yeah, Skyrim shit. Okay. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> yeah.